What's so what's so what's so how we doing? Welcome in. Good morning, good morning. There was something that I was supposed to do on Stream Elements, and I didn't write it down, and now I have no idea what it was. I did just add in something important, but there was something else important, and I can't remember. <laughs> and it's the worst. Like my brain, my brain just doesn't want to play along. Ooh, I know, I remember. I remembered early gang, early Gucci, early gang. What's the, what's the, what's the? I forgot to set a timer. That'll be our timer until we do some Jeopardy. I need to turn down the audio a little bit, huh? Okay, let's see if that worked. Ted, it did indeed. Nice. Both of them worked. Love it. Love it when a plan comes together. I had a new idea for a um, a new idea for a what am I what am I even saying right now? <laughs> my brain, my brain. A new idea for a um, channel point redemption, um, where it would be kind of like movie movie game, only it would be live. It would be done live, and the the gist of it would be I would take 
the lyrics of like a CCM contemporary Christian music song. And I would RNG it with the top 100 songs ever released. And I would play the Christian song to the tune of one of the top 100s. And people would have to guess what the top 100 song is. It's intricate setup, but I thought it'd be fun. Oh boy, folks, it's been a it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day, and it's nine o'clock. Ay ay ay. I have gotten three bits of bad news. Bad news. Bad news. Bad news, as the cows would say. It's not even nine, and I've gotten three pieces of bad news today. So many bad moos. Moo? M moo. They stuttered when they mooed. It was a bad moo. What's up, Wise and Lemur? Welcome in. Everything is okay. It's just a little stressful. We'll be all right. We gonna be all right. None of them are life ending. None of them are, um, none of them are that dramatic. They're just uh, inconvenient. Ayo, the power of friendship. What's good, camera plus Deanna? You, you have bypassed me in, uh, oh wow, look at all those bombs. What is happening? Is that what happens when a raid happens? When? When did that start happening? Okay, well, I'm sorry everyone that just got exploded. My bad. Uh, you guys have you guys have gotten past me with um, Fire Emblem. I can't play it, Cam. I can't play it. It's it's boring. It's a boring game. I want to, I want to play it. I want to love it. I want to just, I, I don't know if it's that I'm not in the right headspace for it right now, but I am so not on board. I am so not on board, but I hope that you guys are enjoying it. Got to chapter 10 without spoilers. It's getting crazy. Well, that's encouraging. I'm on chapter nine as of last night. And uh, I just, I just can't get on board. So I'm hopeful that chapter 10 will bring it. It is very nice to see familiar characters. I may have spoiled something for myself already, because I wanted so uh, Cam, are you are you fairly familiar with Fire Emblem, like the past games? One of the fun parts about Fire Emblem is that you have the ability to recruit enemy forces, but you don't have to. It's not required. And so there was a particular character in Chapter Nine that I was like, I need to recruit this person. And so I went to Google to ask, how do I recruit them? And I learned that you just naturally recruit them later in the game. And so I'm, I'm trying my best not to spoil anything for you, but um, that was that was a bummer to have discovered that because I thought for sure. I thought for sure it was gonna be a secret, a seeky secret um, player, but it was not a secret. It's just one you get. Played around half of them. I've played all of them that are US released at this point. I haven't gone into the fan dubs or anything like that. All right. It's time for Jeopardy. Uh, we got two Jeopardies for today. And our usual crew is not here, so you guys stand a good chance of getting yourself on the board. Never mind, I just saw Sneaky pop up. So, pressure's on. All right, we got two Jeopardy questions for the day. The, uh, you never had a 3DS, so I didn't get to play Fates. Oh man, you're missing my favorite one. Awakening is my favorite one, probably, probably. Either the very first one for the GBA, just Fire Emblem, um, or, or Awakening are probably my favorite. I for real loved Awakening. Three Houses is really good too. Okay, lurking while working. So you guys, you may, you may have it. You may be able to win. You may be able to win here. Our first Jeopardy question. Uh, remember, uh, for those of you that have never been with us for Jeopardy, we do not play by traditional rules. Everybody gets to, to buzz in. Do not feel the need to actually buzz in. Just type in the chat your answer. It does not have to be in question form. We are not rule followers here in the slightest. Um, I'm just going to read the category and the, and the answer, and then you type in what you think uh, it would be. Cool? 
You can still do it in question form. Just know that that's going to delay you that much further. Okay. Category is, uh, for $600, by the way, $600 category is enabling cookies. The answer, this Nestle cookie, named for a Massachusetts inn, dates back to the 1930s. This Nestle cookie, named for a Massachusetts inn, dates to the 1930s. That is correct, Wise and Lemur. It is indeed Toll House. Back on the board again. Let me find your score from before. I remember you were definitely on the board. Uh, Wise and you were at 800, so now you are at 1400. Congratulations. All right, and our next question, our final question of this stream. Category is enabling cookies for $1,000, 1K on the board. The answer, these Girl Scout cookies are known as the cradle of Polynesia. These Girl Scout cookies are known as the cradle of Polynesia. Wow, Wizen, how did you know that? <laughs> It is indeed Samoas. Chats in the clap. We love it. We love to see it. 2,400. Absolutely. Let me see. Well, who's in the who's in the leaderboard now? That makes our leaderboard. You are a former Girl Scout. Well, there you go. Are they not called Samoas anymore? Um, okay, still still have not quite bypassed Sneaky Pigs, I'm afraid. But you have brought yourself up to third place. So, currently, our top three in Jeopardy. Landing in February, which is crazy, right? It's already February, but here we are. And uh, the score is, in first place, Zando with 10K800. In second place, Sneaky Pigs with 4,400. And then, in third place... Wise and Lemur with 2,400 chats in the clap for our leaderboard. Folks, we will be doing this tomorrow at um, at our Checkathon. So be there at Checkathon. Maybe we'll do it like every hour. That'd be... Mm, that's, we're thinking about it. We're thinking about it. Because then people got to stay. Then people got to stay. So I learned I learned something um, that I want to apologize for publicly. Um, in our, uh, um, what was it called? Bochi, Bochi the Rock. In our Bochi the Rock sermon, I said that Bochi was my spirit animal. And I have since learned that that is inappropriate. I had no idea. Uh, I don't know what the adequate phrase to replace it with is, but I feel really bad about it, especially since it was so recent. And I've just been saying it since I was like a kid, you know, but uh, I'm going to I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better with that one. It is it is kind of a vibe situation and it is just kind of a gross thing to say. Inner beast is what I've heard. So I'll try. I'll try to remember that. I'll probably just stop saying it. <laughs> I'll probably just I'll probably just stop saying it. So there you go. That's something to know. Now, you know, I didn't know. Now I know. You didn't know. Maybe you did. Now you know if you didn't. So I'm going to work on that. I'm going to be better about that. Uh, folks, like I just mentioned, our checkathon is tomorrow, which is crazy. Our checkathon is tomorrow at 4 o'clock. We are going to go for eight hours. Um, and we're, so we're going to go from 4 o'clock until midnight. And we are going to uh, be raising funds for the American Cancer Society, as it is Cancer Awareness Month, as well as well as other awarenesses. Um, we try to just focus on whatever one, uh, typically just kind of draw them out of a hat. And so ACS felt like a good one to support this month. Let me make sure that's not my wife calling. It's not. Uh, another spam caller. Um, so we're going to be going for eight hours. We're, our goal is going to be $500. We're going to try and raise $500 for the American Cancer Society tomorrow. If we exceed that, fantastic. If we do not exceed it, that is okay too. I'm glad that we've done anything and raised anything for them. We're always happy to support different charities and organizations that are helping people because as a part of our um, three general rules that we follow here at Checkpoint, we want to not only do no harm and strive to grow, but we also want to do good. And it is good to support charities that are doing good. So this will be our fifth ever Checkathon. Um, we've raised collectively over $5,000 for charities across the uh, across the nation. Um, 
through our checkathons. So you would be supporting something really incredible um, by supporting the things that we support. We're trying to do good and trying to be a presence of good in the world as a part of this community. We're going to be going for eight hours. As I said, we're going to do a lot of ridiculous things. So in order to further entice uh, a good time, we're going to be uh, following this schedule. This is our official release. So you are here for the official release of the Checkathon uh, February 2023 schedule. We're going to start out with a time of greeting. We'll do marbles. We'll hang out, get to know each other, um, get the night started as best as we can. Um, at five o'clock, we'll play a random new game for about an hour. At six o'clock, um, we will. I'll, I'll take a break for dinner and show you guys probably a best of video or two. Um, at six thirty, something new and exciting. We're actually going to have one of our level two members join me um, for a, uh, a a brief jaunt into It Takes Two. We're going to try and play an hour to an hour and a half of it. See how that goes. At eight o'clock, we're going to have a live episode of the Level Two Podcast um, that'll be being live recorded and uh, had there. And then at uh, 9 p.m., if you've never played Minecraft Mario Party with us, then you should be there. It's a lot of fun. Um, Splash Force is one of our level two members and has done an incredible job building a Mario Party game in Minecraft. If you want to join, you really need to let us know. Um, we would love to have you uh, and would love to have more people supporting and playing that game because it is more fun with more people. Um, typically, it is the same crew. So if you're feeling drawn to play some Minecraft Mario Party, we would love to have you. At 10 o'clock, we're going to have a special surprise uh, guest that I will let you guys know about as well. That is another one of our level two members, but I'm going to save the reveal for when it happens because I'm very excited about it. Um, and then at 11 p.m., that's something new we're trying. So at 11 p.m., some of you will recall uh, something that we've done before, and this is actually going to have to do with our goals for the night. Um, so the basic gist is one of our goals, if we reach $750, our goal is fine, I'll play fill in the blank. And I typically put some game in there that I have no interest in playing. Um, last time it was Dark Souls and that was added to our bonus streams list. And I just don't get to the bonus streams fast enough. So instead we're gonna do fine, I'll play that game. And if we reach $750 at 11 o'clock of the next checkathon, I will play uh, that game. So whatever it is, it will be pushed to the next checkathon. If we reach that goal, it will be unlocked at the 11 o'clock hour of the next one. Um, and so last time it was Dark Souls, so this time it's gonna be Dark Souls. Now let's talk about goals. These are the goals for the checkathon, the incentives and the goals as we reach them and the milestones and all that good stuff. Um, our first incentive, if you give a dollar, if you give a single dollar, uh, your name goes on the checkathon t-shirt. All of those t-shirts are available in perpetuity um, on our Teespring. Every $25 that we raise, I will do a Gamba trivia for Do You Know Nate? Um, for those of you that have ever been a part of our Gamba, you know what that is. Every $50, I will read a poem, um, and we have a celebrity generator, or you can come up with a celebrity for me to try to impersonate. Every $100, I will read a page out of the Mirror Mural, the book that I wrote whenever I was 10 years old. And every $250, I will take a random BuzzFeed-esque quiz. The goals of the night. If we reach $250, then I will unlock the Gen 7 stream avatars. Those are these little Pokemon down here. We're gonna have to come up with a new $250 goal because we're almost done. I actually, I haven't even looked to see if they have Gen 7, surely. Surely they have Gen 7, um, probably even Gen 8. So we're, we're already there and uh, that'll be unlocked. At $500, you will unlock the Monokuma onesie. Um, where I will wear the Monokuma onesie for the rest of the night. At $750, you, as I've already mentioned, will unlock that game. Uh, we'll vote upon it when we reach $750. So whatever game you want me to play at the next 11 o'clock hour um, will be redeemed at that time. If we reach $1,000, I will give away five t-shirts. We'll start the giveaway at the beginning of the night, just assuming we'll reach there. If we don't reach there, those giveaways mean nothing. If we do reach there, uh, that will be the pool that we draw from for our five T's. So if you're only able to join us uh, from four to five and you're like, oh, but you guys reached $1,000 and I wasn't there, don't worry, the giveaway will be going the whole night. Um, $1,500, I'll make a VTuber. $2,500, I will uh, blindfold play Mario 1-1 on a stream. Um, I haven't done that in years and it would be very tough, but we're going to, we would try at $3,000. I will release an embarrassing video uh, of me. The rest of the goals are hidden. So those are our goals for the night. That's what we're hoping to see. Um, that's what we want to do at the very least. We really, our goal is to reach that 500. Uh, we want to make sure that we do that for the American cancer society. If we don't reach that, not the end of the world, that's just our goal for the evening. Um, so that's what we're going to try to do. What's up stained. 
So yeah, that's the plan. That's the deal. That's the schedule. That's what you should know about the Checkathon tomorrow night, starting at four o'clock um, and then going for eight hours. I'm very excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. I think we're gonna have a ton of fun. Um, I think it's gonna be, as the kids say, a gas. Don't all the kids still say a gas? Isn't that a thing? 15 months. Holy moly stained. That's wild. Okay, let's go on to another announcement before we do our top 10 list, okay? So this is another announcement, and this comes with a, a couple announcements, really. But for those of you that did not know, we have a weekly newsletter, or we had a weekly newsletter until it went on hiatus back in December. Um, we published our last episode, or our last episode. We published our last issue um, at the end of 2022, and we took January to kind of contemplate, to think about what we wanted the future to look like. And this is what we've come up with. It released yesterday, the very first issue of the To The Point newsletter that has now evolved. So I wanted to go through some of the changes and talk about what it means for you guys. Boink. So this is the new To The Point newsletter. Oh, thanks for thanks for subbing again. By the way, clockwise, counterclockwise, how hard? Let me know. Um, this is all the information that you need to know. This is in our newsletter that came out yesterday. So if you're already subscribed to the newsletter, you've already seen this. If you are not subscribed to the newsletter, then you have no idea what I'm talking about and welcome. Um, Basically, the gist is, it is no longer going to be a weekly newsletter. Instead, it's just going to be a, a newsletter uh, conglomerate of people producing and publishing content under the To The Point name. What is it going to be? This is just the highlights. I'll read the I'll read the highlights rather than the whole thing so that you guys don't have to read through the entire thing. If you want to read through it on your own, feel free to do that, and I'll tell you how to do that here in just a second. Highlights. It has gone, undergone, undergone significant changes and will now have a monthly theme. What that means is uh, rather than weekly, we're just gonna have a themed word and that themed word is going to be the theme of articles published under the month. So February, the theme of the month is refresh and that will be the entirety of the articles released this month. The newsletter has now, um, will now feature contributions from multiple writers. So we now have a team uh, of writers behind it to the point that we'll be publishing articles. If you're interested in learning more about what that might mean, if you like are like, hey, I would love to write for Checkpoint Church, what does that look like? Talk to me and we will make it happen. The basic gist, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up the opacity here. The basic gist of that and what that looks like is you need to be a level two member. And once you're a level two member, you will be welcomed into the to the point if you would like to join it. Um, it's open to anyone that is level two. So if you would like to be a part of the To The Point newsletter, we would love to have you. That's the best way to do it. The newsletter now has a website powered by Substack. That's where I am right now. If you ever want to go there, it is to thecheckpoint.com, to thecheckpoint.com, which is where we'll be doing our Substack. This is going to help us in a lot of ways that are behind the scenes. Um, hopefully it shouldn't change the experience too much for you, only than making it more legible, easier to read, more interactive, and all around better. Some elements of the newsletter, such as the calendar and weekly schedule, have been removed or adjusted. If you want to find our calendar or our schedule, all that stuff is always on the Discord. That is the best part there. What does one have to do to be a level two member? Because I'm interested. Exclamation point level two should bring up our application. It is super easy. The gist of level two is just a mindset shift from being served by Checkpoint to serving alongside Checkpoint. There are no obligations, no expectations, only opportunities and things that you can consider doing if you would like to do them. So there you go. Exclamation point level two. Feel free to join there. We'd love to have you, Wise and Lemur. Um, so yes, schedule, calendar, all that stuff is going to be on the Discord. That's the best place to find it. The newsletter's purpose remains the same, to build a community for nerds, geeks, and gamers in a precise and succinct fashion. Yes, we want to keep it brief. We want to keep it entertaining. We want to make sure that it's building community at its root. What that means um, is that no longer are we really going to be including articles about digital ministry. Um, not that digital ministry isn't important and worth discussing, but it's not going to be something we're going to discuss much here. Uh, because that's not why you're probably here. Odds, odds are most of the nerds, geeks, and gamers in the community are here because they're nerds, geeks, and gamers, not because they're pastors. And so we want this newsletter to be focused on what makes us nerds, geeks, and gamers, not so much what makes us pastors or church planters. So if you are interested in learning more about that, feel free to check out my new blog that I've launched called Pixel and Pulpit. That's pixelandpulpit.com. Um, and if you want to learn more about that, that is where you can uh, learn a little bit about my um understanding and my processing of digital ministry. So uh, if you want to sub to either one of those blogs, exclamation point TTP 
exclamation point TTP at any time will pull up the newsletter. Um, you can go there and you can subscribe, get it delivered di directly to your inbox. Um, and I will probably cut this down into a YouTube video and put that down in the description down below. So if you are watching on YouTube, description down below is where I will put that link. Um, but at any point you can go to tothecheckpoint.com and that will get you our most recent information there. Um, same with Pixel and Pulpit, pixelandpulpit.com. Um, not the ampersand, but Pixel and A and D Pulpit um, will get you there. Uh, or if you're in our Twitch chat, exclamation point Nate or exclamation point NPN will always pull up my link tree and you can find all my stuff on there. Cool, I think that's it. That should be all the information about To The Point newsletter, except for one last surprise. Um, we are gonna be doing something new. Um, in addition to all of the wonderful things that we're doing new here at Checkpoint, um, I wanted to do something exciting with our monthly newsletter. And so our monthly newsletter is gonna have a theme, right? We're gonna have some kind of themed topic. And so in honor of that themed topic to make things more exciting and enticing for you, we're gonna be doing, I need, a, I need an epic voice here, hang on. Okay. So in honor of our monthly newsletter theme of Refresh, we're going to be doing the monthly t-shirt challenge. We're going to be designing t-shirts and we want to open it up to you. So if you are interested in designing a t-shirt for Checkpoint Church, we would love to see your design, see what you have based around uh, refresh. So what designs do you have for the word refresh? Does it have to include the Checkpoint logo? It does not. Uh, can it? Sure. Does it have to have anything uh, to do with Checkpoint necessarily? Not necessarily. Does it have to be faith, faith based? No, it just has to have something to do with the word refresh. I'm going to have all of those submitted by February 15th. And then I will put together a voter, uh, probably some kind of uh, Google form or something where you can vote on what you would pick. If your design is voted as the most popular design for the month, then you will get two free t-shirts, one for you and one for a friend, and they will be available on our store from that point on for anybody that wants any further. So that is gonna be our new monthly challenge, something that we're gonna start doing based around these newsletters to continue to build excitement around these things, as well as to give you an opportunity to flex your creative muscles. So merchandise challenge, opportunity to design challenge. We'll make t-shirts, we'll make stickers, we'll make whatever you guys think would be best of it, but I wanna see what you've got creatively. Um, and I think we just need more uh, swag to wear, so. Um, that will become a new thing. Darn kids made me miss Jeopardy. Oh no, Zando. They also made you miss the Checkathon announcement. They also made you miss the To The Point newsletter. So not to dig it in deeper, but you haven't missed uh, our backlog of me telling you about all the games that I like that you don't. So yes, that's our huge t-shirt announcement, our big announcements, one after another. This has been a jam-packed stream. We've talked about new things coming to Checkpoint for 20 minutes. Do you realize that? <laughs> that's wild. Um, what an exciting day. So I'm, I'm glad that you're here. Glad that you guys are here with us. All of this will get cut down and um, put out into the ether so that people can experience more of it. But this is the good news. So I'm, I'm happy that you're here and happy for all the things that we have going on. And now I'm gonna do uh, Zando's Gotcha and Movie Movie Games so that we can get into our top 10 list, yeah? Yeah. We'll start with your gotcha up on. Who is your daddy? Is he gotcha? Let's get to the gotcha. When you can't decide on one Arnold quote, you just do both of them. Oh for one. Oh for one. Reverse, reverse. So once we start playing a space for the unbound, I guess I will turn the to turn the thing upside down. Um, touch up on movie, movie game. Your movie, movie game of the day, Zando, is in this groovy sequel, uh, Mojo is stolen from the International Man of Mystery. To get it back, he teams up with a rage suppressing, rage suppressing Rhode Island State Trooper with multiple personality disorder. That is good, but that was tough. In this groovy sequel, Mojo is stolen from the International Man of Mystery. To get it back, he teams up with a rage-suppressing Rhode Island State Trooper with multiple personality disorder. What is that movie? What's up, Hannah? Welcome to the chat. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Um, uh, Jesus was a real person. That's hard to say. It is Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me, myself, and Irene. Chats in the clap. Hannah, odds are you're probably... Um, more animus to a group that doesn't really need the animosity. But we're glad you're here. I'd love to get to know you better. 
more than anything, we're just a community trying to do our best for nerds, geeks, and gamers, connecting them over video games and community and all that sorts of stuff. Uh, whether people believe in Jesus or not, we still believe they love, but we love them, God loves them, and that they matter. Um, and we're just here to build community around that. We don't need you to believe in Jesus necessarily to be here and to be welcome here and to be loved here. I, I, there's no L to be took. Because we still believe God loves you. We love you and you matter. Sure, yeah, so we have a whole prayer request channel over in our Discord, um, but I would be glad to pray for you. Hannah, do you play any video games or watch any anime or that kind of stuff? We're about to talk about video games here for a little bit. We're gonna do uh, Fortnite and Roblox, rock on. I'm I'm not into, oh, Minecraft, now that I can get behind. I've never played Roblox, I've always heard good things. Fortnite, I'm terrible at because I'm just the worst FPSer that exists. But Minecraft, I love. I um, So we have some members of the Discord that got me into Minecraft. Was it like two years ago at this point? And uh, man, <laughs> I like, I. it was one of those games that just absolutely uh, took over my life. Like I didn't, I didn't play it at all, and then all of a sudden I got into it, and I was like, "Oh well, I'm gonna do this every hour of every day for the longest time." So yeah, totally spies, Winx Club, Ben Ten. Yeah, those were a little bit past my time, but I definitely got into Ben Ten. But I was like, it was one of those things where I was right at the precipice of not um, of being like too old to watch it. And then there's like this weird, there's this weird transition that happens. You're the best in the whole world in Fortnite. That's very impressive. I am, see, this is a meeting of the fates here because I'm in fact the worst in the whole world at Fortnite. So you're in the right place. This is this is polar opposites of the spectrum. I am, I am as bad as it gets and you are as good as it gets. So this is a big deal. Last of Us 2 is a ride, absolutely is a ride, Stained. Uh, we're gonna go through the best games of 1994. If this is your first time joining us on one of our top 10 lists, um, then the way that we do this is I actually go on Backlogged. So if you've never used uh, Backlog before, I look like a WWE fighter, I am. I'm so strong. I'm so strong and tough and definitely not a pacifist. Um, no, I've never, I've never, I, I, so we have, a, we have a bit of a meme. Oh, Kevin Owen? Well, now I didn't know there was a specific one. I'm curious now. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I think the hair, the hair and the beard. I don't have a big sleeve tattoo. Um, I did have to, uh, not have to, I did wear a big sleeve tattoo once for um, Halloween. So for those of you that have been, for those of you that have never been here for our top 10 list, the way that we do this is I use Backlogged, which is a game logging site. If you want to find me there, feel free to. I'd love to be your friend on that platform. I'm Nerd Pastor Nate uh, on that platform as well. And we've been going through the top 10 list of every game in eternity. And so we've been going from 2022 all the way back. And we're going to be going back until, um, not a Cobra. This is our logo. Checkpoint Church's logo here. Um, we're currently in 1994, which is ironically enough, the year I was born. So this will be fun. I definitely did not play any games this year because I was having trouble even holding like a spoon. Um, but we're going to give our best go at what the best games from 1994 are and what should go on the list. The way that we do this, because of the fact that Backlogged does have every game ever made, um, sometimes it can have some that we don't want to show on a family-friendly stream here. So instead of worrying about all of that, we're just going to do the top 10, or I'm going I'm to put all the games that I see that are games that I think deserve to be on the top 10, and then I will... Um, and then I will uh, show you guys that list and we'll go through and list those. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So we're gonna go through first and find the games that I already have played or have registered as played. Sonic 3, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there for sure. Well, no, I'm gonna do Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Rather than worrying about putting both on there, we're gonna do and Knuckles. Earthbound, obviously. Um, Earthworm Jim. Super Punch-Out. 1994, that is old, man. I'm ancient. I'm ancient. Super Metroid. Uh, Final Fantasy VI. That's, that's one that I actually haven't played, so I, I don't feel like I can actually put that one on there. 
All right, so those are my games. I'm going to go through real quickly through the top 10 pages, see what we think, if there are any that deserve to be on that slot. Of course, I will have to have played them before, so that's my rule. Um, these are not necessarily the top 10 games ever made. Uh, these are just the top 10 games for moi. I should have. You've, I should leave. You've already listed so many favorites. <laughs> well, I put a lot of them on there. Let's see. We're already on the second page. So far, I've only seen things that I already have on there. I've only ever played Mega Man X. I never played Mega Man X 2 or any of those. So that does cause a little bit of an issue. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Bubsy is not going to be on there, I'm afraid. Home Improvement. Oh, man, I remember. I remember when JonTron played that. That's a rough one. Let's see. Page three. We're on page three currently. Not much. I'm getting a little worried, actually. I might have to go back through and add some of the ones that I said I wouldn't. Because there are really no games in here that I've played. It's almost as if I was a lily baby. Hmm. Yeah, I really got nothing. Oh, the Lion King game? Oh man, we're on page seven! I know, but you've already omitted FF6, which already has my heart rate up. I'm gonna turn <laughs> I'm gonna turn real petty real quick. Here's the thing though. This is just more these are more games that I need to play. So the good news is typically if it's a game that Zando says uh, this is my favorite game of all time, and it's not on my top 10 list because I haven't played it. I add it to my backlog. So they will be played, and then they'll be put on the top 10 list. We're on page nine. Oof. I haven't added a single one. We're going to have to go back to page one. Battletoads? Like the Battletoads? Why is that on page nine? Why is Battletoads not until page nine? Is that the game that I'm thinking of? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong game. All right, we're on page 11 and I haven't added any games. I gotta go back to the beginning. Uh, let's see. I never played Doom 2. I wanna play Live Alive. Ooh, Donkey Kong, okay. Okay, that's one I've played. Uh, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, yes, yes, okay, yes, yes, yes. See, I just missed these, somehow. Wario Land. That's one I've at least played a couple minutes of. Dream Course, I've played a couple minutes of. Ah, oh, Streets of Rage. And that's one I've never played, but I've always heard good things. The original Tekken, never played, but that's another that I at least know of. System Shock is one that's been forever, like perpetually on my backlog. Actually, I need to put that on my wish list because I don't think I own that one. I uh, never played Maximum Carnage. Man, so many games I just haven't played. The Japanese release dates are killing me. I always think of Earthbound as a 95 release. Yep, I just do whatever backlog tells me. That's the best way to do it. Just don't even think about the dates. <laughs> just don't even think about them. Mighty Morphin? I never played that Mighty Morphin. Hotel Mario? What is Hotel Mario? Sim Tower? I feel like I've played Sim Tower. Let's, let's add it anyway and see. Oh my goodness. I played Battletoads on my uncle's nest. It was something. It's a real tough game. I mean, I've never played. There's like no games that I've ever played. Oh my goodness. We, I mean, it's really going to get tough. It's going to get really tough to find games that I've played. The further we go back. I feel like we've reached a... We've reached a... Um, we've reached a stopping point in games that I've played. All right, now I'm going to show you guys the backlog. Here we go. Boink. All right, so these are the top 13 games that I came up with, um, most of which I've barely played any of. Uh, Philip CDI, Hotel Mario. Okay, 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 got you. Um, just immediately looking at the list, we're going to go ahead and put Earthbound, Super Metroid, Donkey Kong Country, and Sonic 3 up at the top. Um, probably Street Fighter up at the top. But man, I mean... It's gonna get real tricky real fast. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check some of these games out on the database so that I can see if I remember them. So let's look up which Donkey Kong this is. There is okay. There's no way. This is the Game Boy one. I've never played this. Yeah, I've absolutely never played this one. 
So I feel like that that's not allowed. I can't put that on the list. If I've never played it, I can't put it on the list. That is that is illegitimate. So sorry. Um, let's look up Sim Tower and see if I've played that because that's the other one I'm not sure if I've ever played. I mean, I doubt it. If it's not immediately ringing a bell, probably did not. Did not. Did they not list Donkey Kong Country? Yeah, it's there. It was at the top, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's up at the very top. It's definitely going to be on the top, top few. Okay. I've, I, I don't care about Lion King. Not enough. This is a really, this is a really awful list. <laughs> this is really bad. This is a really bad list. All right, Earthbound certainly at the top. Next, I'm going to say Super Metroid is. This is all, all true. Earthbound better than Super Metroid. I would say so, even though it's kind of tough. I just like RPGs more um, than Metroidvanias. Super Metroid better than Donkey Kong Country? Yeah. Yeah, Donkey Kong Country better than Sonic 3? I would say so. Sonic 3 better than Street Fighter 2? Definitely. Street Fighter 2 better than Earthborn Gem? That's a tough one for me. I'm not into fighting games that much, and I know that's going to hurt Zando. But I'm not really that into fighting games. So it's kind of a tough thing. It's kind of a tough, it's kind of a tough one here, because Earthworm Gem at least had the, like, adventure narrative to me. No, it's definitely it's definitely more important. It's definitely a more important game. Donkey Kong Country is probably the only game on this list I've I've played a lot of. Yeah, that's fair. Well, you should play Earthbound. I think you'd like Earthbound. Um, and and obviously Metroid. I would say play any of these top like five games. Um, is Earthworm Gym better than Super Punch Out? For me, yes. For the universe, definitely not. This is totally Super Punch Out should be so much higher up, but it's not gonna be. Battletoads is not a good game. It's just an infamous game. I'll put it down at the bottom of the list. Um, Punch Out, better than Wario Land. Yeah. Wario Land, better than Dream Course. Yeah. Dream Course, better than Battletoads. Yeah. This is not my favorite list. This is not the best list I've ever made. Um, I'm not super proud of it or super confident in it, but we're going to, we're going to at least, we're going to at least put it on here, I guess. This is going to be our, this is our top 10 games of 1994. Not the best one. Not the best list we've ever done. No honorable mentions, uh, but this is it. So according to myself, very, very, um, a very knowledgeable list maker who's only made so many of these. Uh, Earthbound is better than Super Metroid, which is better than Donkey Kong Country, which is better than Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles, which is better than Street Fighter 2 Turbo, which is better than Earthworm Jim, which is better than Super Punch Out, which is better than Warrior Land, which is better than Kirby's Dream Course, which is better than Battletoads. Yeah. Ice cream sounds real good. You should honorably mention FF6 as something you definitely, we will definitely play in love someday. I will do that. Boom jams. Love it. All right, so there's our top 10 list. Thank you so much for watching this, folks. Go ahead and say hi to YouTube as we close out this YouTube video that I'll cut up a little bit later. So if you're watching over on YouTube and you liked this kind of content, uh, such as weak top 10 lists, if you're a big fan of top 10 lists that don't have a lot of oomph behind them, I hope that you enjoyed this one. If you did enjoy and watch this point in the video, be sure to let me know by clicking that like button down below, clicking that thumbs up, uh, letting me know that this is one that you enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know what is your top game of 1994. I feel like I was just a little busy in 1994 and that's probably why this list doesn't look like this is. And uh, yeah, we will wrap this one up with our three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you out there, regardless of whether or not you believe in God, don't believe in God, go to church, don't go to church, hate the church, hate Christianity, hate any of that stuff. Uh, whether you liked this list, disliked this list, none of those things change these three things that we believe to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, we believe that God loves you, like really, really loves you. Number two, we love you. We want community with you. That's what we're doing here on YouTube over on Twitch, where we did this originally, and on our Discord. Number three, we believe that you, yes, you, no matter who you are, or what you've done, or where you've been, we believe that you matter. You are a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, with that, and until the next time that we see you, bye-bye! Okay. And now we're back. Amazing top 10. Is that a top 10 list, guy? God does love you, Hannah. I know you don't believe it, but that's okay. Doesn't change it. And he is definitely not scared. Um, we're going to get into Space for the Unbound. That's going to be our game that we're going to play today. So if you happened to join us last week, then um, Space for the Unbound is a really interesting indie game uh, about two supernatural people who are in a weird in-between space that we don't know a lot about. There's a guy who has the ability to dive deep 
into um, System Shock on your backlog. Let me make sure if I have it first before you send it to me. Um, so he has he has he has the ability to dive into people's psyches and help them. Um, the girl has the ability to do a lot of things. She can basically like change reality. She's kind of got the reality stone from Marvel. Um, and the two of them are in Indonesia in the 90s and we're trying to solve what's going on. So it's kind of slice of life-ish. It's kind of anime and uh, we're figuring it out one bit at a time. Uh, last time we did set the world record on the arcade machine and that felt really good. Uh, and now I'm gonna check and see if I have Space for the Unbound real quick. Or not, no, mm -mm, System Shock. Is it System Shock Enhanced Edition? Or System Shock Classic? I have both of them. Both. Enhanced. Okay. Well, I'll play that sometime. We'll add it to the, uh, we'll add it to the backlog. Oop, that's just a bunch of heads. Okay, spoilers. Spoilers, gonna get out of there real quick. Get out of there real quick. Just saw a bunch of heads on the ground. Space for the Unbound. On my backlog as well. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play it at some point. I'm trying to think if there's anything else before we get into the game. I feel like that's it. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna top off some tea and then I'm gonna be right back. So we're gonna make some more tea real fast. Alright, water hath been heated. Water hath been heated. Um, so I just remembered that our friend from earlier who came on and asked for a prayer either had to ditch or hop off or I missed the prayer. So I'm gonna go back up. Try hard vibes. Alright, try hard vibes. Try hard. Try, try hard. Try hard vibes hopped off. So I'm gonna just write them down on my, my prayer request log real quick. All right, we good. We good. And now we're gonna get into space for the unbound because that's all I can think of. I feel like there's, I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. My brain is like exploding. No, we've done everything. We've done everything that needs to be done. Just enjoy, just enjoy some game time, yeah? Boink. We're gonna say bye to Spoofy. Bye Spoofy. We're gonna turn up our audio a little bit to make sure that we can hear the game. And we're gonna go into cozy mode. <clears throat> I'm feeling cozy mode today, guys. I am feeling cozy mode today. Weird day. Weird day. Everybody else having a weird day? Weird day. Give myself just a little bit transparent. Okay. Uh, this game contains depictions of depression, anxiety, and suicide. As always, the games that we play may or may not be family friendly, but I will always be family friendly. So. I will do my best to make sure that things are appropriate, but be aware of the themes in this game 
if you have any challenges as far as mental health are concerned, please do consider um, seeking out uh, a professional. If you need immediate help, if you're in the States, 988 is the suicide prevention hotline, and we encourage utilizing that if need be. Um, if, if this game is too loud, please do let me know. We're going to start in reverse reverse. Okay, Google, set a five-minute timer. Oh, yeah, so I just set the high score. I finally beat the high score. Whose was it again? RFN. Huh? Why does that seem so familiar? Anyway. Uh, so for some reason, there is this name that keeps coming up called Ren, and uh, we don't know who they are. My running theory is that our brain was uh, uh, erased. I think, so we're Atma, and I think our, our memory was wiped by our girlfriend of our friend who may be unalived themselves, maybe uh, died and wasn't unalive, but just died by some accident. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what this scenario is, but that is my running theory. So we'll see. So we're about to get a page out of the book and probably have some kind of a flashback to this Ren character. Yeah, so that's them. It's this child with blue hair and uh, we just don't know, we just don't know what's the deal with them, where they went, where they are, what's going on. Again, let me know if the volume's too loud, please. Yeah, beat that. Eat crappy brat. <laughs> uh, at least something good came out of this day. Watch out, keep your eyes on the screen or you're toast. What is it? What happened today? Uh, I got a bad grade again and my teacher yelled at me. He called me an idiot. What kind of a teacher says something like that anyway? Yeah, that's screwed up. Don't let it get to you, though. Maybe you're not the top of the class, but you have other talents. You can write and draw, and you're pretty darn good at Future Fighter, too. Don't stress it, really. It's important to stop and take a breather once in a while. You can try your best after that, okay? Well, yeah. But just once, I want to make my parents proud. And it wouldn't hurt to hear a teacher praise me for once. Maybe I can tutor you. I'm in high school. I'm sure I can handle whatever it is you're doing in class. Mm, I don't want to study today. It's arcade time. Maybe after this game? Deal! Woohoo! I won! What? Again? How did you manage that? Anyway, now we're done with arcade time. How about some studying? Ah. Yeah. Don't know what the deal is with them, but I'm real worried about them. Oh, wh what was that? My head really hurts. So I guess as we complete bucket list items, we unlock our memory. Which is kind of ironic because our, our, our girlfriend is the one that... um is the one that I, I theorize wiped our memory. Okay, so now we know how to fight. That was what we learned in the last one. And now we're able to fight the bullies and get the cake ingredients so that we can make a cake for our girlfriend to make her happy. What's with the attitude? Looking for a fight? You and Eric are the one who started it. Let me know, let, uh, let me through if you don't want to have your butt handed to you. All right, let's dance. Uh, this is hard upside down, okay. This is gonna be rough. A, A, uh, 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 up, down. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay, woo. Uh, up. Oh boy, oh this is melting my brain, no. Uh, A, down, A, uh-huh, did it. Oh, I cannot believe we did that, okay, nice. We'll be back, little mutt, just you wait. Honestly, upside down, I'm impressed with myself. Uh, I don't remember his voice. You're strong now, well done. Tell me, Admiral, am I worthy of Raya? Raya is our girlfriend. That remains to be seen, but your zeal is commendable. Now, for the task at hand. We should assume that Eric has already messed with his stock in the general store. Our rivals can be predictable like that. Do you know where we can find the ingredients? My underlings can help you with that. You have underlings? Fellow stray cats. Ah. We have ears all over the city. They'll be a great help to us. They should be on their way to us with the information right now. Why do you think Eric is always trying to mess with me? Because he likes Raya, duh. That boy has been picking on Raya for years. I believe it's just his nature to be nasty. People like him. The world will be a better place without them. I don't know about that. That feels a little harsh. How is he, guys? Meow, boss. Found. Meow. Meow eggs. Meow. Pluck. Meow. I see, I see. There's a guy who lives near the mosque who has a hen. We can get our eggs there. Meow, meow, chocolate. Meow, meow, meow. He saw a kid with a lot of chocolate near the net cafe. I've been a little out of the loop. What happened with you and Outer Wilds? We're taking a break. <laughs> We're taking a break. Maybe we'll get back to it eventually. We'll see.
I'm real upset about Daryl Talks Games yesterday posting that he was like, finally finished and now I get it. And I'm like, no, I refuse. Maybe we could ask the kid to share some with us. Meow, Admiral. Meow, meow. Come here, Puff. Meow, Cherry Tree. Well, thanks, little one. I wasn't sure if you were finishing it off stream or not. I thought about it. I thought about it. We'll see. What did she say? She congratulated me for my fancy new command post under the cherry tree. And I finally get to move. You mean the shelter Ryan I built for you? Yes. Wait, was that a cherry tree? Meow. Yeah. Let's check that tree out. Maybe it still bears fruit. Agreed. Now, there you have it. Hmm. Eggs from a hen near the mosque, chocolate from a kid near the net cafe, and cherries from the tree next to Admiral's shelter. That's very useful information. Thank you all. Meow meow. Great. Back to your post now, all of you. Atma, let's go. Here we go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That game, that game really pushed me to the brink. <laughs> that game really did me in. And that was a rough one. A duck? Kids are afraid of clouds these days. How could I pay my bills? Uh, you're a duck, not a clown. Are you a man or a mouse? I forgot how good this soundtrack was. Do you know anything about the cherry tree? This cherry tree, it used to bear more cherries than we could harvest when I was still a tiny lad. My Muppet and I used to- uh, my Muppet! <laughs> Look what you've done, Perry! Look what you've done! <laughs> oh, it is so tough to read. It's so tough to read chat, dude. Uh, my friends and I used to climb it and steal the fruit. <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> My Muppet and I. Those were the days. The tree's dead now. It is. Yes. Ah, uh, if only I could turn back to him uh, and taste those cherries again. I used to stuff my vase with him. <laughs> Replace all non-proper nouns with Muppet now, along with my Muppet. Who? <gasps> Are you Ren's granddaddy? I can't remember. Did they wipe everyone's memory? Aha! Maybe I can space dive to help him remember. Or is it maybe like his wife? His Muppet. Is it his Muppet wife? So this is how we're able to dive into people's memories. And learn what they're uh, not telling us. The hour hand is missing from this clock. Curse this aging brain. This feels like an important memory, and yet it slipped from my mind. If only I could turn back time. I really like Cher. I'm a big fan of Cher. This tree is a cherry tree? Okay, so I gotta find something to replace the hour hand. Somewhere in the universe. <laughs> the chicken! <laughs> Whoa, that's scary. It's a chicken! We still need to find everything on the list. We don't even have the eggs. The chocolate is still missing. I wonder where we can get cherries. My stray cat underlings all over town should be able to lend a paw if you ask. For real, you can't get near the chicken. Come on. This ain't, this ain't Zelda. Whoa. She said that the old man has been standing over there for a while, muttering about the cherry tree. How unfortunate. I don't think that tree's worn fruit for quite some time. You should talk with him and try to find out more. Done it already. Done it already. This game is a lot of fetch quests. Oh, it's a clock. It's a lot of fetch quests with a really good narrative. That's what I'm that's what I'm discovering so far. A lot of fetch quests with a good narrative.
Oh, we're turning back. We're turning back town. Oh my goodness. He's a young man. All right, so that's one. If only you could turn back time, huh? So now I will go pick up. Oi! Find cherries yet? Yummy cherries inbound. Catch! Whoa, I'm not ready! Huh? You, over there! You need a bucket? Me? Yes, you! Help me catch the cherries, would you? Then we can share them between us. Oh, yeah, sure. I'll shake the tree from above. You catch the best-looking cherries. Seven batches of good cherries. Steady, ready, go. That's a snake! Guess I want to try again. They couldn't give me one cherry to start off so that I get a, a flow for the game? I don't know what that was, but it wasn't cherries. Yes, we did it! Oh, that's not, that's not Ren. Brother, we caught so many cherries! Brother? Good job, I know I can count on you. Here's your share. Let's tell them all about the cherries. All right, race you back home. Last one is a rotten cherry. All right, I got some ancient cherries. Brother, oh brother, how I miss you so. But I'm happy to remember you again. I will cherish this memory. Good. And now I just have to figure out how to get rid of the, uh, the rooster. And I guess find the mosque. I didn't even know the mosque was a thing. Hey, uh, no. Is it? Okay. Okay, nothing important there. Public paper, paper. Okay, we need coin. Yeah, you got some chocolate, huh? Well, chocolate is so yummy. Do you like chocolate too, mister? I do, but it's hard to find chocolate these days. Can I have some of yours? I have uh, some of mine. My <laughs> chocolate? Huh? No! This is mine! Mine, my chocolate, mine! I, I would die for this chocolate. Uh oh, I need to calm him down. Chocolate, sweet, sweet chocolate. I always hated it. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, this feels a little judgmental. Uh oh. I can't stop thinking about chocolate. Chocolate never makes fails to make me happy. It's pure love wrapped up in bar form. Can any other snack satisfy me that thoroughly? No, that's impossible. Even the simplest chocolate is enchanting to me. Or even like this chocolate place, don't I? Okay, the best food review. Donuts has star star thumb thumb heart. Burger has star star thumb thumb. Veggies have star heart. Popcorn has heart thumb. Whatever that last thing is, has star thumb thumb. So I guess is what it asks what it's asking me to do, is it to complete the puzzle? So I need veggies plus the thing on the bottom. Burgers and veggies wouldn't do it. It would make it too many stars, right? Or I guess it would overweigh it. We'll try it. So I take the popcorn away. It has to it has to match it exactly. So I have to figure out how to separate those things.
No, oh, there we go. Yeah! That can be locally instant noodle. That color for orange, green, and red. Are those veggies? Instant noodle is too hearty. The vegetable is too yucky. But somehow this looks delicious and interesting. It's just instant noodle, but if my mom made it, it's special. Wait, it reminds me. My mom cooked for breakfast that Sunday morning. My mom was worried because I didn't want to eat veggies. Could it be better than chocolate? Oh no! Is there a new food on top of the review chart? Alright, so I gotta equal. No, nothing can beat chocolate like this chocolate sundae. <laughs> That's right, nothing can beat this beautiful masterpiece. Oh, sweet and creamy. Okay, so we've got chocolate sundae. Gotta make them equal. Star, 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 heart, dum, dum, dum. Um, and only two of them. There's nothing that does that. Find three stars and a thumb? No. Two stars, two thumbs? No. Star and three thumbs? I can! Aha! I found it! Okay, so it's the soda. It's the soda and the whatever that thing on the second from the bottom is. Yep. Yep, soda and then whatever's on the bottom. Soda. Nice. Chips. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Glorious food groups of soda and chips. What? I didn't see the cookies. Ah! This is a Facebook meme! <laughs> what do you mean, dude? Are you kidding me? They just Facebook memed me, man. I just fell for a I just fell for a boomer mom meme. No! Take the cookies away. Alright, so one of the thumbs and one of the hearts need to leave. Ah! I'm so mad! Uh so we need a star and then two thumbs. Three stars, two thumbs. I'm irate. Three stars, two thumbs. Three stars, two thumbs. Okay, so it's the coffee and the veggies or whatever's there. <laughs> Man, that is so ridiculous. <laughs> ah, yay, yay. All right, give me back this. <laughs> Dumb. Dumb! Uh, what was it? I don't see it. Where's the coffee? There's the coffee and the veggies. Oh, I have the coffee from earlier. Coffee was on the thing. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. That's so ridiculous. <laughs> I'm still mad at myself. Huh? This fruity aroma. It's sweet, spicy, and tangy all at once. Could this be a Rujak fruit salad? I don't normally like spicy food, but it looks pretty enticing. I mean, remember that day I cried because Mom didn't have money to buy me chocolate? But she made me the snack. She just wanted to eat me to he eat healthy. No, it's not chocolate. How can it be that beautiful? Should I betray chocolate? Mom! I can't believe we just after school special for this kid. That's right, nothing's better than Mom's homemade food. I want to go home now. I want Mom to make me healthy food. Here, mister, you can have the rest of my chocolate. Oh, oh, oh thank you. I that. Goodbye, eat your veggies. All right, so now all I need is a way to get after the rooster. You have an idea how to get near the rooster, kids, children? Letter A again. Yeah, that one, right? What a waste of money. Right, you could have spent that money in the arcade. I need 14 more tickets before I have enough to exchange for a brand new game buy. Well, I don't have an A letter. Okay, so I gotta trade something with them. I can't take it anymore. I should call the authorities and have you shut down. 
Be patient, ma'am. Please, let's talk things out. Patient? My kid's been all day here doing who knows what while your staff didn't do anything about it. Do you want me to be patient? It was a grave error, ma'am, and I apologize completely. I'll talk with the staff to make sure we monitor underage customers. That's big talk. What can a regular high school student like you do about it? Just let me get in there already. Oh, there's a hen. Well, what was the deal with the other one? Excuse me, is this hen yours? Oh, you're the boy always hanging out with Raya. Yes, why? How much for her eggs? You can have them. For sure? Any friend of Raya's is welcome to them. I'm always happy to see kids eat healthy food. Fresh eggs are good for you, you know. The problem is, I can't get you any eggs right now. My hen, she's been ferocious for the past few days. Whenever I try harvesting any eggs from her cage, she starts balking like crazy. I get nightmares about her trying to eat me like a dinosaur. <laughs> I can get her a madder rooster. An even angrier rooster. What's up with her? Needs me. I have the third vicious pecking I gave up trying. If only I could speak to animals, I could ask her myself. Hmm. Mm, as we all know, all animals can talk to each other. Well, I guess this cat is this cat going to talk to him. Meow, 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 meow. He said that Miss Hen over there is irritated for some reason. We should find out why. Nope. No, stop giving market tickets. Oh, don't peck me. Admiral, can you translate what she said? A rooster? Hmm. She said she's been hearing a rooster and his uh, saucy call every morning. Oh, no. She's uh, going on. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. We've got a thirst-trapped chicken. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, I guess that's our job. Is she falling in love? Oh, of course. There's a vicious wild rooster by the swamp that's always crowing. My poor hen must hear it every morning. And they called it chicken love. <laughs> oh my, you need a rooster bag for that. Here, you can use mine. Oh, thanks. Ah oh, yes, the old rooster bag. Can't tell you how many times I've used a rooster bag, folks. Can't tell you. Oh, hello. Nice weather we're having, isn't it? I guess we'll have some dude here later on. <laughs> Ronald Dollar, the soccer hero. Special kick-up challenge. I'll give you the letter M from my Yoman gum wrapper if you manage to do 50 kick-ups. Game on! Game on! You only manage zero kick-ups. Come back once you're sure you can take on my... Well, can you teach me? Well, that's tough. Okay. Oh, I just hit the A button? I don't understand. I feel like I'm hitting it as soon as it goes. Bam. Ah! Is it with the is it with the exclamation point or is it with the foot? <laughs> what do you mean? Hang on, we're gonna do this. Tell me what you mean. Teach me. Teach me! Is there a, tell me what buttons! I'm playing a video game. Tell me how to do it. How do you do it? Teach me! How did I do the two? Now I can't even do two anymore. Yeah, come on. I feel like it's I feel like it's with the exclamation point. We gotta figure it out, come on! <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? Ready. I am getting fluster. Tell me what you mean. Teach me how to play. I, I feel like I'm hitting it as soon as it hits my foot. I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm doing. I'm hitting 
as soon as it hits my foot. What do you mean? Is there a different button? Tell me! Tell me if there's a different button. Ah! What do you mean? What do you mean? No! 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 I'm just trying to I'm trying to tap quickly. I'm do What do you mean? Teach me. Teach me! I'm Googling it. I'm Googling it! I have to understand what I'm doing wrong. Alright, what is this game called? A Space for the Unbound. Soccer... thing. What do you call it? Kick up. No. No! No! <laughs> Why will nobody tell me? Must include how to kick up. Ah! Wasn't that what he called it? Didn't he call it kick up? Yes, he called it kick up. I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. If I'm supposed to get to 50, it should be way easier than this. So that's how I hit it a little bit before the exclamation point. Okay, I got four that time. I think you hit it before, or I think you I think you hold A until the exclamation point's gone. I mean, I'm getting more. I'm getting more. I think that's it. I think that's the solution to the puzzle. All right, we're in it. We're in it. We're in it now. We're in it now. We're in it now. We got it. We got the flow. I just gotta get the flow. Gotta get the flow going. Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. That that wasn't the flow. There was no flow there. See. Okay. See, no flow. No flow. We got it. Come on. Oh! I I I I have to do this. Two and one and no, we're gonna we're gonna get a timing. We're gonna get our timing down. I'm sitting up now. I'm out of cozy mode. This game has summoned me out of cozy mode. Here we go. One and two. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's not an and. One. Nope. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it. One. Two. Nope. One. Two. One and two. And no! Come on! There's gotta be a rhythm. Boom, and boom, and boom. I swear I'm doing the same thing. Boom, and boom, and boom. Ay, ay, ay. Quicker than that. Boom, boom. No, 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 the car. Why did that card go right then? Dude, I'm doing this, okay? It's happening. I just had to dissociate. 
All I had to do was dissociate. That's the answer. Okay. I got it again. I'm gonna get it. Ten. Oh man, he distracted me! Dissociate. <laughs> just, just dissociate real quickly and you get it. Back to cozy mode. Finally, someone who likes ball as much as I do. Here you go, a Yolan bubblegum wrapper. Worth it. Worth it. Worth it. What's up? What's the cat thinking? Oh, you need a name. Uh, Cecil. Your name is now Cecil. All right, so I got the rooster bag. Now I just need to go get the rooster. Ooh. Oh, so now you want to fight back? You don't have, have Mama Raya to protect you now, so watch it. Raya has nothing to do with this. Fight me man to man. I'll knock some sense into that stupid head of yours. Well, I guess I'm fighting the guy that was on the other side now. You're lucky, Eric will finish you off sooner or later. Okay, I only have two out of the three ingredients, so I still need to go get the rooster. Get the rooster to the chicken. So the chicken can be satisfied. that empty container for it. It's gotta be for something. I'm gonna need it eventually. I just know it. I have the rooster bag, but now how can I approach without it seeing me? Oh! Maybe if I hide behind the tall grass and walk slowly, I'll be able to get close without it attacking me. I feel like I'm in a video game. <laughs> Red light, green light. No, 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 no. Oh come on! That's a that's a that's too far of a gap. Too far of a gap. I guess I gotta I gotta I gotta move to the edge of the grass. <laughs> ah, come on! I didn't know I couldn't go that far. Ay ay ay. Gotcha. Rooster in a bag. Rooster in a bag and I don't care. Rooster in a bag and I don't care. Rooster in a bag and I don't care. Do -do 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 -do. Need the tickets. They'll give me another wrapper. Heck yeah, exactly. 14 tickets. Let's go redeem them for a prize. Here you go, mister. Your A letter. Here's your rooster in a bag. You 
imagine how mad that rooster would be? Yeah! Uh-oh. No, they both ran away! <laughs> oh, no! Well, uh, I guess that's all yours. Sorry about your chicken, sir. I wonder where they're headed. I mean, probably back to the exact spot where they were. You got the egg. I did it! Woohoo! I have the ingredients. I got them, Papa. I'll bake you cake, but we still need some ingredients. Okay, so I gotta... Cherries. Oh, these aren't the regular cherries, but I can make it work, of course. Yeah, they're ancient. They're actually from a time long past. Good quality cocoa, good job. Good quality eggs, fresh from the farm. Very good. We bought it. All, we bought all the ingredients. Great. Hold tight for a bit, and I'll get started on the baking. No, not good. Grandpa, I deeply apologize, Otma. It looks like my skills are a little rusty. I can't make the cake. We still need our chef. You have any idea where she might be? She must be around this town somewhere. Oh, the other day she was asking me to look up recipes on the internet. Dim sum, saute, rinde. Oh, she must have already been thinking about quitting then. Sorry, Gramps. Uh, what I want to say is she might still be rousing those recipes in the Net Cafe. That makes sense. Net Cafe, right? I'll go find her, Gramps. You don't have to worry. Thank you. To the Net Cafe! kind of hard to say. I definitely have never been to Indonesia in my entire life, but this game makes me feel really weirdly nostalgic. <laughs> hey, you guys, give me one guess. Of these two, which one do you think might be the runaway chef? Hmm? Any guesses? Any guesses? Which one could it be? Who is the chef? Gotta be one of them. I'm gonna guess it's probably you with the chef hat. Hey, you're Raya Cafe, Raya, Raya Cafe's pastry chef, right? I was. That old man, the owner, he's worried about you. He said he's sorry, that he wants you to come back. If I come back, he'll just force me to bake again. I just think I might be better off cooking, you know? Maybe Chinese cuisine? That's interesting. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm browsing recipes at the moment. I might be able to figure out what kind of chef I want to grow up to be. Space Dive! Oh my goodness! Listen up, chefs. This is your last chance to serve me your most delicious creation yet. And be on top of the cuisine world. Yes, chef! Only 45 minutes left. Yes, chef! No, no, no! The other chef took away my baking tools. At this rate, I'll never win. The pastry chef is in trouble. I have to help her. What do you need? No, 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 no. Okay, you're not going to tell me what you need? You're going to tell me which tools you need? Could you please return the pastry chef's baking tools? No, I can't let pastry win. Saute is far superior. As long as it's not too greasy, that is. The jury doesn't like that. Greasy, huh? Please return the pastry chef's baking tools. No! Rindang is far superior. As long as it's not too spicy, that is. The jury doesn't like that. Spicy. Too spicy. Could you please return? No. Dim sum is far superior as long as it's not too bitter. Okay. Spicy, bitter. What was this one? Spicy, bitter, greasy. Spicy, bitter, greasy. Okay. 
Have you ever heard of something called false memory syndrome? It's when alternate realities blend into one and create an illusion of false memories. The only proof that it's not a false memory is the fact that multiple people experience it. Isn't that kind of far-fetched? Human brains just work very similarly and are able to, uh, sim to make similar false memories given enough triggers. Huh. I didn't expect you to respond seriously. spoke with her. She's still considering it. Can you show her that other foods aren't good enough somehow? I have an idea, but... What? Isn't it kind of cruel, sabotaging her dreams like that? Look, you need to bake her the cake for Raya, right? It's probably what she wants anyway. We just need to help her make up her mind. Well, I know a way. I just need something greasy, something bitter, and something spicy. Then let's get to it. My underlings can do the groundwork for you, just like before. Still on the fence? Um, I get it together. It's for Raya. We don't have a choice, and delaying this will just make things worse. Yeah. Let's start gathering information then. Meow, found it, meow. Bitter fruit, meow. Round moss, meow. Right, right. There's a bitter melon growing beside the moss. Spice, there's spice, meow. Chili vendor, meow. Good find. There's a very spicy chili sauce sold by a food vendor near here. General store, meow. Free oil, free with password, meow. Yeah, of course, the general store gives away free cooking oil if you know the password. What a weird, what a weird trend. Okay. Bestest and most purest cooking oil. You can even drink it. Just try saying that phrase to the shop owner. Thank you, everyone. Now back to your posts. Don't waste time. Okay, thanks. It's spicy. So, you're burning Comet Sim Oil. Is it really that hot? My burning Comet special, special spicy chili sauce is the hottest thing you can find in local city. Can I ask for a sample of your special sauce? <laughs> I bet you didn't like spicy foods. I, uh, don't tell me. You're trying to impress Raya because she loves spicy foods? She does, I didn't know. Oh, lover boy, take this and get out of here. Careful thought. Careful though, it's really spicy. Okay. <laughs> well, that was easy. Oh, look at you, tough guy. You're in my way. Catch these hands. Easy. That really hurt. Lame. Okay. Welcome, kiddo. What can I get you today? Um, say the password. Local cooking oil, bestest and most purest cooking oil. You can even drink it. How did you? The password. Ding, ding, ding. The password is correct. Congratulations. You're eligible for free local cooking oil in bulk. I have to say it exactly like that. You know, this distributor is very fussy about it. Seriously? For free? That's generous of you. Terms and conditions apply. Container not included. Ah. Uh, I don't have a container for oil or even any money to buy one. Well, um, times are really tough, huh? Well, don't worry, don't worry. You just have to find a used container near the garbage area. Yes, yes, that's the one. People keep throwing away useful things just because they're a little dirty. Scrub it a little clean with water, and you can use it again. I do it all the time. Goodbye. Boop. That is a really nice motif. No, <laughs> oh, they're just happy here, huh? I thought that might be water. Tis not. Tis not water. Something about the way he looks whenever he runs makes me think of Bob's Burgers. I don't even watch that show. Just the art. Just the very style of it. Right? I put some water somewhere. Can 
nice way we're having. Nothing you got right now. Oh, that's the melon. Melon. Melon! You want some bitter melon? Bitter melon is so good for you. It's high in vitamin A and C and helps reduce blood sugar and cholesterol. Some even say it has cancer-fighting properties. Sadly, some people don't like it because of the bitter taste. You can take one. I have a bountiful harvest this season. Thanks, lady. We got some bitter melon. All that's left is to figure out how to wash this thing off. Check out this game bot. So cool. Can I borrow it? I call dibs. Need some water. song. He finished it right before he... I don't want to forget. I mustn't forget him, but it feels like my head is trapped in the past. I don't know which door I should open to free it. I'm sorry you have to see this. I can't play well right now. Maybe I'll never play well again. Probably music. This seems to be a precious thing to I have to help. I'm also curious about what music that was. I'm in search of a soul-touching melody anyway. Am I? <laughs> am I? Tell me more about that, because I don't think I am. Have I done something wrong? Am I in the wrong... Am I, am I out of order? I might be out of order. Where would I get water? I need water. Oops, maybe down here. That's a big negative. Where would I get water? I feel like I haven't seen water anywhere. Water on school property. That was a good guess, I thought. I guess not good enough. Do you know where water is? I do not know where water is. I have no idea. I have no idea what they want me to do. Ooh. I'll be bringing you a cake soon. Have water, sir. Water, water. No, oh, help me. May I run this container under the water for a bit? Sure. Thank you. Oil time. Like some oil. Yay! We did it! Alright, now back to the net cafe. You guys hear the trash truck? Okay, back into her brain space. 
Space Dive. Go, go, gadget, brain space. All right, no, not you. You, greasy, greasy. What's that thing you put on my dish? Oh, no! Ah, this is so oily! No! My baking tool. There's still more to do, but at least I can use this. Only 30 minutes left. Thanks for this, I gotta run. Aren't you spicy? What are you doing? Spicy, are you trying to kill me? No, it's... You're going home. No! Yes, this is just what I needed. Only 20 minutes left. Thanks for this, I gotta run. Last but not least, Beater. Beaterb. Hey, you. So bitter. Are you trying to remind me of my marriage? <laughs> You're going home. No. Bitter. It's too rotten. I have all the tools. Only ten minutes left. Just a little bit more. Yeah, this is delicious. With this autoclave pastry as the winner. We did it. That's right, I'm already doing a good job being a pastry chef. I really need to go back to the cafe. That's the last thing on the list. Time to go back to Ria Cafe. And get our next fetch quest. <laughs> Look at his face. Can't you all just buzz off and leave me alone? And please, learn to ride a motorbike properly and not like a drunken hooligan. I wonder whether he's his cowardly little mother of a pathetic scaredy cat. You better watch yourself. <laughs> no, Ardabra. You have more important stuff to deal with right now. We got all the ingredients. We convinced the chef to go back to work. You go in and order the Black Forest Gateau. What about you, Admiral? I'll wait outside. Keep my eyes on those ruffians. If they kill Admiral, I don't know what I'm going to do. Talk to the chef, she'll make you cake. Chef! The cake is best eaten when it's been freshly prepared. Do you want me to bake the cake now, or is there something else you want to do? Go ahead and do it now. Great! Thank you for restoring my baking spirit. This has always been my life's passion. Now sit tight and wait, I'll whip up the finest Black Forest Coteau this town has ever seen. I hope I wasn't supposed to do that music thing, but I definitely- they did not say I needed the music thing. So I don't understand. Hey. Huh? I'm sorry. I did horrible things. Horrible things? I'm really sorry, Raya. What's up with Eric? Was I dreaming? Am I Eric? What- what was that dream about? What do you mean? Hey, hey, Atma. Hmm? Wake up, here's your order. That was a dream? Hello? Ground control to Major Sleepyhead. This is ground control to sleep here. Right, the cake. It smells amazing. Maybe that's what woke me up. It's done? It's a masterpiece. As requested, Ria Cafe's signature Black Forest Guitar. Whoa, it looks delicious. The smell, it's heavenly. Amazing work, Chef. <laughs> I got a whole Black Forest Guitar. My chef. I'm so happy to have you back. I'm sorry for what I said. What I should have said is that your pastries are the pride of this cafe. And of course, you should be free to experiment with other cuisines. That's okay, Grandpa. I have to apologize, too. You're right, I love baking more than anything. I should concentrate on what I love. What a heartwarming scene. 
Well, I have to give this cake to Raya. I hope this makes her feel better. Boink, boink, boink. I got a bad feeling about... I swear if they kill Admiral, I am done, dude. What was that, a Cassie Owl? Go! Go! Dude, I am seriously gonna be done. No! No, 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 no! No! Eric, be more careful, you hit a cat. It's, it's not my fault, okay? It jumped out of nowhere and I was startled. Hey, isn't this the one that Raya likes to pet? Crap, don't tell her. Hey! What are you doing to Admiral? What? Wait. Well, her guard dog is here. Did you? You. Shut up! I cannot believe that I called it. Oh, oh man, this is so messed up. She's gonna be so mad. Cake. She likes Black Forest cake, right? She'll forgive me if I give it to her. Oh. Atma. Atma, wake up. They took my cake that I made for her? Man. What happened? Are you okay? Baron? Good. You remember my name? What are you doing here? I found you unconscious. Do you remember what you're supposed to be doing? The... The Black Forest Gateau. Huh? It's gone! Where is it? Admiral! Where's Eric? I need to stop him from hurting Admiral. No, you can't. What do you mean? The only one you can save is Raya. What do you mean? Is something going to happen to her? Atma, you should go there and be with her. I... Uh, I will. Very good. Now go. What does Marin know? Oh man, this has got a whole lot of juice here. How do they make me do so many fetch quests? And I'm like, ah, this game has kind of got too many fetch quests. And then they draw me right back in, dude. They draw me right back in. I refuse to accept that Admiral's dead. I think he's just hurt and he's gonna be fine. And it's called the False Memory Syndrome. Okay, they clearly are, are digging that in deep, huh? That's what it's called. Oh, Atma. Uh, it's pretty late. Why are you still at school? I don't have time to explain, sorry. Uh, Miss Nikon, where's Raya? You know Raya? What, what do you mean? Raya's my girlfriend. Oh, she's still in the classroom. She should be all right now. What happened to Raya? Thank you, Miss Nikon. Him and Raya? Yeah, you didn't know? No. Weird. What is going on? Raya! Oh, she looks so happy. She had her cake. Are you okay? You're not hurt? Huh? I'm fine. I feel better already. Why do you look so panicked? Where have you been? I went out with Admiral to get you a Black Forest Gateau. Derek. He. Admiral. Rick? What do you mean? You rang. Raya, I came to apologize. I brought you a cake. Your favorite? You snake. That's my cake. Shut up, what? This is between Raya and I. You. You aren't supposed to be here. Where's Admiral? Raya. You have to understand. You think it's all my fault. I, I didn't mean to do it. Just tell me where Admiral is. On Raya? All that happened so long ago. Can't you just forgive me? Wait, so long ago? What are you talking about? Raya, what is this? Where's Admiral? Get over it! Admiral is dead. Dead! No! Raya? Raya? Don't come any closer. What? No, you get lost. I'm the one Raya needs. Get her name out of your mouth. Bring it on. Not a fight on school grounds. That never goes wrong. Since when were you any good in a fight? That hurts, mutt. 
You will pay for this. Why is he not fighting back? Ugh. Catch this. Uh, Raya, you. I'm a. Help me. Oh, I. She, she has to forgive me. I can't. It's killing me. You. You're in my way. Boss. Get her out of here. Uh, what are you doing to her? You're hurting her. Stop it. No, you stop it. Raya has to forgive me. She has to... R Raya! What? What's happening again? Get away! I will never let you leave this place. That flower again. Perhaps I can use the book to defeat him and get us out of here. The story's getting good. Despite all my rage, I am still just ready to cage. Am I in Eric's heart? What's going on here? It's different, much bigger than any space dive I've done before. Why can't everything go back? Why can't everything go back to how it used to be? It's not my fault. It is. You have to apologize properly. I didn't mean to kill the cat, don't you get that? What's done is done. Why can't you forgive me? She needs time. Try to be more patient next time. Please forgive me, you have to forgive me! Uh, my voice cannot reach him, as always. Hey bro. Hey bro, you over there, come here quick. Huh? You calling me? Yeah, you, it's dangerous around here, come quick. Dangerous? Ho oh ho! Wolfman? What? Hide here with me. What's going on? What are you doing in a cage? Forget that. You need to be careful out here. Those weird dogs will catch you. Or worse. Or worse? You mean those creatures have kept me locked up here for ages? They keep me hidden from everyone. Do you know of any way to get rid of them? You want to defeat them all? Yeah. Otherwise, my girlfriend will be in danger. Oh, that's so cool. Are you a knight, bro? A knight? Yeah, you know, with crazy superpowers. And, well, I do have this weird power. You are a knight, I knew it! <laughs> Man, I've been waiting for this day. You have? All my life. So, you see that door? Yeah, sure do. That's the only way out of here. And I... I've been kept hostage here for a while now. I want to be free. I want my voice to be heard. Can you help me get out of this prison? I need to get to that door over there. Door? That big door over there. What's behind that door? Freedom. If you can unlock this cage, I can go through it and be free. All those weird weird dogs will be gone in this prison. That lock is unbreakable. It's no use, Gallant Knight. You can't open it with force. But I do know where they keep the key. I saw one of the weird dogs take it to a room on the far left. Room on the far left, huh? Got it. Please be careful. So I guess I have to sneak. This place is crawling with them. I ought to be stealthy. I don't know what would happen if they spotted me. Will be a Phoebus Raccoonus. What? <laughs> that was unexpected. Ah! Yikes. I see. Straight through, huh? Left, right, left, right, left, together. Left. Left. Right. Left. 
Hello. Wrench looks handy. Yep, let's absolutely take it. What happened? So I had to put the thing back. I have to come up with a replacement. A replacement. Yikesters, come on. All the way back to the beginning? Homie. No, no, no. Uncalled for. No! turned off. Okay. Whoa! Why didn't it come out right? This stupid black forest guitar. Oh, I won't leave this kitchen until I can bake the perfect cake. It's for Raya, after all. Raya? Is that the key for the prison? I have to pull that pulley- I have to pull that pulley down and get the key, but how? I have to have the wrench to get the gear. Oh yeah, yeah, this is a multi-step process right here. Nice, got the bone. Okay, cool. I don't know if there's more to do on the left or not. Okay, okay I at least get the puzzle now, so... The wrench, bone, leave. Go get the gear, put the gear in, get the pulley down. Easy, easy peasy. I wonder if I need the bone to like throw to distract him. What? I need another gear? Turn around. That looks like a gear. Slippery Tomcat! Yeah. Well, how do I get him out of here? Oh, do I have to help him find the ingredients? <laughs> Use more sugar. Whoopsie. Where was sugar? I don't remember even seeing sugar.
180 degrees feels like way too cold for me. Where is sugar? I have no idea where sugar is. Maybe it was to the right. Maybe I gotta go all the way back and to the right. I definitely have not seen any sugar in the places I've been. What's up, Emo? How we doing? Welcome to chat. I will absolutely hydrate. What you up to? I'm currently, um, I'm really not watching much right now. I'm trying to get through um, Near Automata. I am playing through Fire Emblem Engage as best as I can, and I'm currently reading through a book called Sea of Tranquility. I guess I'll just go all the way to the right, see if there's anything else that I need. Right now we're playing a game called A Space for the Unbound. It's a new indie game that I've been very excited about. Okay, so nothing new over here. Nice to know. What you been up to? What's new in the life of Emo? Anything super exciting going on? got the company car. So this is mixed news. So is there a bad side as well to this company car? Was it not the dream? I can't see him, so I don't know if he can see me. around, buddy. It's sweet already. Let's bake it. I hope I didn't have to do it again. Please don't be burnt. Woof, 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 I did it. A worf a woo. The Black Forest Kato for Raya is done. If I bring her a favorite cake, she has to forgive me, right? I have to hide. Nice. Since the usual car isn't available yet, I've got a temporary car. Gotcha. In that weird in between space. My current car keeps having recalls, and I'm getting very tired of it. Fortunately, they're all paid for. Despite all my rage, I can release the kid in a cage. Comfy and nice to ride in. First time using automatic, but it's just huge. See, I would be the exact opposite. If I had to drive a car that was my first time using manual, it'd be very strange. All the wolves go. The weird dogs are gone. Good. I didn't have to play hide and seek again. 
comfy and nice, but it's just huge. Yeah, just a lot to a lot to work with. My wife always prefers to drive her car because it's just a little little sporty little thing. And mine is gigantic, and so it's like the, the difference is pretty stark. I'm finally free. I always wanted to be a knight, strong, brave, mighty. Now I know that there's more bravery and strength than raw power. Admitting your mistakes also takes bravery. Thank you for helping me. I'm finally free. I'm free to admit my mistakes, to sincerely apologize, and to move forward. Let's go, gallant knight, through yonder gate. Can't park it in the garden here without blocking the way of the other cars. My own car, my grandma's car. Oh no! This is my classroom. Everything looks wonky. We're almost out, gallant knight. Let's go. Why can't you forgive me? I swallowed my pride and made you this cake, but why? Why did I do wrong? I had to park it in my great aunt's garden two houses away. Well, at least you have another place to park. It could be worse. You, why, you, how? Please, let us go. Yes, please, let me out of here. No, no, no. I've already embarrassed myself enough by baking this cake. If I let you go now, I couldn't handle the added shame. Why is that? B because... The Eric they know, the Eric they're afraid of would be gone. Everything would be ruined. No, it wouldn't. A real friend doesn't care about how tough you pretend to be. I'm you too. Don't forget we're the <sighs> same. Shut up, Brad. You're pathetic. Weak and feeble. I'm nothing like you. Watch out. I have to fight the wolf. You'll be free. Over my dead body. Here he comes. Vile were dog. Weak. My punch barely made a dent in him. Why do you want to keep me locked up in here? What? Are you afraid of me? R afraid? You? He hesitated. It's working. Keep it at it, Gallant Knight. I'll try talking to him. <laughs> you? Uh, silence! Shut up, I don't want to hear it! <sighs> Cut this out already. I just want to talk. They'll mid talk brat with their fists. It's not true. Whoa, 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 no! Okay, I, had to, I blocked one of them. I blocked two out of the three. The pain that you're feeling, Raya feels it too. I know that already! Why? Why do you keep bothering me? I don't mean to intrude, I just want to talk. Been kind of a pain lately, making trouble for the people in town, for father, for yourself. Shut up, even Raya. Shut up. All oh, this humiliation just because of that stupid cat. That cat meant a lot to Raya. I already said I was sorry. Really? Are you really sorry for Raya or for yourself? Uh, enough. I'll teach that chatty mouth of yours a lesson. I won't let you do that. Nice. Shut your mouth. What gives you the right to talk to me about Raya? You don't know anything. You're just a locked up brat. So set me free. Let me reach out to her. She'll listen to me. Uh, please. No. Never. Everything I do, I do for her. This is a man's way of showing her how I feel. Point. You're not showing her anything. She's not getting it. She can't even say the word out loud, right? Honest with her. No more acting tough. Enough about manliness. Clock, clock, clock. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mega punch. A man should never talk about that romance crap. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, no! I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, so right trigger apparently skips text. So 
So we just we just lost his entire narrative there. Boing. Another page. Yep. Another page. Oh no. I don't know, man. I'm beginning to think Raya is the villain. Where once there'd been a cowering puppy, there now stood an arrogant weirdog. It's another fairy tale? He's gone. He let me go. I'm free. I'm free. Hey, wait. I'm free. I'm finally free. Wait, there's no context. I got my company tablet today, the coaxial measure device thing, most of my tools, new working clothes. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little confused where we're coming from here. You know, I'm very excited. It sounds like you've got a lot going on. Huh, that's... <gasps> no. It's Ren again. That's the girl from my dream. What was her name? Nirmala? What? Huh? What? What are you doing to him, Bosk? Oh. Whoa! Wow! Yes. What is going on? What is going on? I what? Uh. Eric. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! No! Nirmala did something to Eric in the space dive and now he's a weird dog out here! I can't let this happen. Eric, hear me out. I know you want to be better than this. Come on, Eric. Change back to your normal self. You don't have to be an a weird dog. Yikes! Stop! <laughs> Raya? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Yo! Okay, he's alive. I thought he was going to be splitting twain. I... I... Eric, are you okay? I... I'm sorry, Raya. It's all my fault for teasing you. I should have written more carefully. It's it's my fault that your cat. Shut up. Huh? What? What is happening? She just destroyed him. She just Doctor Manhattan that guy. R Raya. What did you do? Where's Eric? He's dead. What? Now, he won't hurt anyone else. Hmm. Yum. Thanks for the cake. My favorite. Raya? Want some out Why the long face? Raya, I... Ah. Raya? She's the bad guy. Duh. Oh boy. Uh, we are really about to have a chicken little moment here. In December, I told my boss I quit. One month notice is mandatory here if you've worked for less than three years for a company. Uh, so on the 16th of January, I totally ended working for the previous company. On the 26th, I signed a new contract with a new company. Well, awesome. Hopefully, it's a, a new great fit. Catch this. Okay, so Nirmala is definitely Ren. So is it like a, an anagram? Is it maybe like... Amalam, Amal, uh, Alamrin, Alamrin. Something on your mind? You look angry. Same job, same place, but better working conditions. That is perfect. Well, good. I'm glad to hear it. You know. 
Always a good a good news whenever you have a better working condition. I feel like the characters in my story are getting harder to understand. The things they like and how the princess can befriend them, it's all so confusing. So many things to tell. Ugh. Whoa, whoa, calm down, Ramallah. Let's see here. The star princess can use magic, right? Maybe she can use her magic to help her friends out. Solve something that's troubling them. Give them a magical item or something. Hmm. If the star princess were to use magic, then I suppose... Aha! Of course! Duh. Now's no time to be kicking the ball around, Atma. I have a story to tell. Got you a Black Forest Coteau, your favorite, right? I'm a better now man now. Can't you see it? What do you think you're doing? I don't know who's even talking anymore, so. Ugh. Better fully legal payment, totally new equipment, lots more possibilities to learn, earn even more, and learn a ton more. That is fantastic news. I'm so happy for you, Emo. What? And it sounds like it's all falling into place once they get all your stuff sorted out. Huh? I'm at my desk? Where's Raya? What just happened to Raya, to Eric? Is he really, did Raya actually, no, oh no. no. What is going on here? Did Raya lose consciousness then? Is she hurt? Was that girl, was that Nirmala? Why was she in Eric's head? Raya said there was some sort of anomaly causing all this chaos. Was she talking about Nirmala? Did Nirmala make Eric go berserk? Who even is Nirmala anyway? What happened back there to pull me out? How did I end up here at this desk in this classroom for the third time? Uh, get a hold of yourself, Atma. Raya must have answers. I need to find her. Busy, busy, busy. Busy, busy, busy. I'm a, I'm a busy guy. Stop talking to me. Can't you see I'm trying to do work? Now, I'm much more curious about Marin, dude. Marin is way more sus at this point. Hey, Atma. Yes? What are you doing lazing about in here? Hop to it. Work? What do you mean? Don't play dumb. I know you're just trying to skip it. I won't let you. Everyone's doing their part, see? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I, I really don't know what you're talking about, honestly. Uh, I'm looking for Raya. Have you seen her? Raya? She... Raya... Dang, blink, dang. Hey, Atma, you bum. Quit lazing around and get to work. <laughs> what? Hey, uh, buddy, you okay? Huh? Yeah, what happened? Don't try to change the subject. You were... Uh, you know what? Uh, uh, um, never mind. What are these people preparing for? Okay, so things are getting more and more broke. All right. Huh? You're joking, right? It's for Ling Tang Festival, the town's annual celebration to welcome the first Suro Night. I want to know more. Ling Tang Festival will last for a whole week with different events happening every day, like a bazaar, dance performances, a parade, a firework display. Our school helps organize it every year. Last year, the year before that, the year before that too. Right. What do you mean? First Suro Night. Yeah, man. Apparently, Suro is the first month in the Javanese calendar. Oh, I didn't know that. Don't feel bad, man. Only old folks know how the Javanese calendar works. Well, I guess I could make an effort to learn. Our generation is kind of ignorant sometimes. Yeah, man, totally. Well, thanks. I gotta go. You better not skip class again. Everyone needs to work hard for Link Tank Fest. Yeah, I remember whenever you just totally broke down there for a second. That was weird. Stack of paper. Coming through! Lulu! 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 Where's Eric? Where's Raya? There's all of Eric's buddies, but no Eric. Did he really get Rorschach, dude? Is he gone? The school's bustling all of a sudden. I, heard, I guess what that girl said about the festival for some festival is true. She was acting really weird, but it didn't look like I could space dive. Weird. Whoa! Did I hit my head last time I fell unconscious? What is going on here? Talk to Lulu! <sighs> Am I hallucinating or is the school actually getting weirder? Yes, Lulu, let's talk. I have a lot of questions for you, Lulu. I know you. This girl. 
Lulu, right? Oh, you're Raya's boyfriend, right? Or is it just me, or is something really freaky going on here? All this is wrong, isn't it? She seems confused, but not broken like everyone else. What should I tell her? Uh, yeah. I just see everyone glitching. Talked to this girl before, and she just kept reading this weird line. You noticed it too? Finally! I'm glad it isn't just me. Wait, you too? Yes, people are acting super strangely. But everyone asked, they just brushed me off. They acted like I was the crazy one. I just see everyone glitching. Glitch? What do you mean, glitch? Okay, so we've established that something weird is happening, but why? What caused it? And how do we fix it? There has to be someone around here that knows what's happening. Yeah, it's weird. Honestly, I'm worried about Raya. I think she might have some answers we're looking for. Raya? Why would she be involved? I just have a feeling. There's no way she's going to buy this right. I can't explain everything. Raya's power space dive. Okie dokie. Okay. I'll help you look for Raya. I can't think what else to do, so you're the best lead I have right now. Besides, I'd rather stick with someone somewhat normal. Better than doing nothing. I haven't seen Raya around the school, so we should search elsewhere. Okay, let's go. I miss Admiral. Whoa. Hello, sir. You two, where do you think you're going? Stop slacking off and do your part for the Link Tank Festival, kids. Mr. Agon? Where are your manners? Huh? You will address me with my proper title. Major General What? Agong Moljono, remember that? Wait, what? Major General? Mr. Agung, what's gotten into you? Enough fall in line! You'll put all your energy into making Link Tank Fest a success! That's in order! Mr. Gung, you're our teacher. You're the vice principal. I... what? No. Enough! Silence! You are. You teach civic studies. You run a pretty tight ship, but you're not an actual soldier. As your Major General, I command you to work for the festival. Just a few moments ago, you were collecting our future consultation form. You said that as senior students, we should be focusing on our final exams. That we shouldn't participate in non-academic activities like Ling Tang Festival. I am Major Principal General... Space type flower appeared on Lulu? Well, let's dive and see how it goes. The game is getting weird! What? <laughs> that was unexpected. Okay. A courtroom. Is that Mr. Agung and Lulu? Enough. Court is now in session. Is the prosecution ready? Prosecution, don't just stand there with your beak in the wind. Right? <laughs> Am I a duck? Huh? Uh, yes. I'm the prosecution? Bunch of geese. Geese and ducks and quackers. We're here for the trial of Mr. Gunn. Defendant, please state your name to the court. Oh, this is the real deal, an actual courtroom. My role is the prosecution, huh? Let's play along for now. My name is Major General Agung Moljono, Your Highness. Defendant, your name is Major General... Or, no, Your Highness. It's a military rank. Uh. Objection! <laughs> nice! Yeah! Yeah! Five out of five! Ten out of ten game! This game has me. Yes. Yes! Prosecution, you have something to say? The Mr. Agung that I know of is no soldier at all. He's a civic studies teacher at Loka High. What nonsense is this? I see. So that's the case going to trial here. The defendant here, Mr. Agung, might be a fraud. Order! Order in my courtroom right now! For the safety of the realm, we cannot allow a fraud, an imposter, to roam free. I hope this trial can ascertain the true identity of the defendant. I'm the real deal, Your Highness! I'll show you! No. This Mr. Agung is a fraud. Quiet down now. You're bothering the Queen. I hate this noise those dirty animals make. These are definitely the worst. Have you guys seen- have you ever seen that TikTok? Of the, um, the person that dies and goes to heaven and meets God and God is like, um... So how was life? Like, how- how did- how was- how was your experience on Earth? And the person was like, well, honestly, it was pretty rough. I dealt with depression most of my life. And so God was like, oh, well, did you ever try strangling a goose? And, uh, the person was like, what? Like, what do you mean? He was like, I made a cure for depression. It was strangling geese. And the person is like, 
why would we strangle a goose that's inhumane? He's like, no, the, I, I made the geese specifically to be strangled. I made them so annoying and their necks are perfect for strangling. And the person is like, oh, and then that's the end of the TikTok. It's a good bit. It's a good bit. Good joke. We'll leave that board and it's fine. Used to work on a goose farm, 2,000 plus geese. That's too many geese. That's 1,999 too many geese. Prosecution, we appreciate your spirit. This hall is honored to have you in the court. Quack, quack. <laughs> Don't get too cocky over there. One wrong word and I'm dragging you out by the hair. We will now listen to the defendant's testimony. After that, you're free to cross-examine in prosecution. Yes, your highness. Defendant, the testimony, please. I love it. I love this so much. Ugh. Ace Attorney. I'm gonna have to go play Ace Attorney. I gotta go run to the restroom real quick, you guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna see if I can pause the game. Why are they always bows? Oh, perfect, it's not beans. It is a little slip of paper. What? What a way to end stream! What a way to end stream! Do you guys want to know what Zando just pulled? Zando, there's only one of these. Out of all of the things in the bucket, there's only one. It was total luck. My friend, you have just earned yourself the exclusive Discord role of Gotcha King. Wow! Chats in the clap for Zando, the Gotcha King. You officially have a new role, a title, in our Discord of Gotcha King. Only one big stuff, big stuff, the Gotcha King Zando. Uh, we'll, we'll implement your role here in the next little while. Hopefully by tomorrow at the latest. Wow! What? Are we back? We back, we back, we back. We do need maybe 30 bats here. Objection! There's been a myrtle. My name is Major General Agung Miljono, an esteemed soldier since the day of independence. I think I, of all people, should be the authority on this. We're going to Cozy Mode. And I'm certain I'm not a teacher. I'm a bona fide soldier. I have fought for this country. There has never been any proof that I'm a teacher at Loka High. In fact, I have proof that I serve in the military. That is you, defendant? That is most certainly me, your highness. It even has my signature. Aside from the uniform, you look very different from the man in the photo. Ho ho ho, I was fit back in the day, you know. Time has not been kind to me. Uh, my great aunt gave me my birthday present today. My birthday's at the end of the month. Hey, look, you know what? That just means that you gotta spread your presents out throughout the month. It works well. That's all I want to tell the court. I told you, I'm real! Prosecution? It's clear that the defendant is not who he claims to be. I know it in my heart, this man is not who he says he is. I hope you're ready with the evidence. We'll tear this testimony to shreds. Evidence? Oh dear, it seems I've overestimated you. Fine, court is adjourned while the prosecution gets his act together. You need to gather evidence about the defendant's true identity. Where can I find that? Uh, your Highness, you are a hero with the power to dive into the minds of others and the power to resurface afterwards. I have a feeling that the truth you seek is beyond the borders of my realm. It's gonna be a decoration for my lovely desk. Wonderful. I am loving the Ace Attorney out of nowhere. Loving the out of nowhere Ace Attorney play. Real fun. All right, so I gotta go find some evidence that says that he's not a soldier. I'm guessing it's the forms that are on the table. Wink, wink. I'm guessing it's these. These are the senior students' future plan things. Ryan and I turned ours into a bucket list. Guess we should be submitting them. Boom jams. Approved and signed by Mr. Gung himself. This will make useful evidence. Take it. They gave me a custom labeled bottle of red wine. Oh, that's very fun. Are you gonna drink it and seal it and then put it on your table? Or are you just gonna never unbottle it, never open it? Just let it be decor. I still have a bottle of wine from our wedding. It's definitely spoiled by now. Oh, let's see, gotta go in the space time. We didn't get fancy labels or anything, it's just the memory. 
It actually wasn't even good wine to begin with. It was very, very cheap wine. Two buck chuck. What? Up? Okay, I guess I just initiated the conversation. Well, I did it. I did. I did do it. I did it. I'm not sure. I have proof that you did not. And I even found your signature. How do I... What do I... Okay. Okay. Maybe that picture actually isn't of him. Maybe that picture is of him and his brother. Maybe his brother served in the military or something. Sweet wine and dry wine existing concepts in English, sure. I like very dry wine myself. Dry and bitter. Again with the false memory syndrome thing. Soury wine is one you call it dry. I wouldn't call it sour, but I know what you're saying. I would call it bitter more than sour. Bitter makes the most sense. Kind of moves moisture out of your mouth a little bit. Use the same concepts we do all the time. I would actually say I'm more of a wine fan than I am pretty much anything else. I don't really like beers except for dry or not dry. <laughs> I like I like sour beers. That's about it. Guess who put this? Geez, who put this beer? Is someone using this trolley to race again? Gives the ears are interesting. Yeah. I like them a lot. That's my favorite by far. This is a bottle of dry red wine. I like red wines about the first week, actually. What are you doing here? There is a um, there's a wine that I used to really like because so whenever I started drinking wine, you know, I was, I was new to the scene and I liked Moscatos because that's really a really sweet wine. And then uh, eventually I got into the the like rosés. And then whenever I got into red wine, I got into Ruscata with an R instead of an M. And that is like a bubbly, sweet red wine. And then I, once I stopped drinking that, it was like only the dry and bitter stuff from that point on. That was like the, the like progress of sweetness for me. The progression right now. And you don't like beer. I don't like most beers. I only like sour beers. What now? We're trying to prepare for Link Tank Fest. What are you doing, Rama? You should be helping too. Yeah, this is the peak of our high school experience. How's Eric? Hmm? Hello there. What's up, musical Bible nerd? Welcome in. Huh? Who? Harry? Eric. Oh my goodness. He got existence wiped, dude. Sorry, bro. We don't know anyone's name. Anybody with that name around? You're. I don't remember him. Look at Raya. Have you seen her? Oh, Raya. Yeah, that gal. She's. Ling ting tang ling tang. Hello, Atma. Aren't you excited for Ling Tank Festival? Glitching. It's no use. Take care. There was one more, wasn't there? What other evidence am I supposed to get? Some kind of liqueur. See, I've already been here, yeah. That's not it. Yeah, 
far as the hard drinks, that's where it gets much more nuanced. Oh, well, disaster, catastrophe, library locked, but where am I supposed to sleep? Oh, I bet it's that coward, the librarian. Please find him and ask him to open the door. I need my beauty sleep. Huh? Yeah, I closed the library. Some students keep using it to skip class, so Mr. Gung had me close it. Mr. Gung, you say? Not Generalissimo? What should I do with this? What's going on, ma'am? A lot, my boy. Someone left their wallet here, but I don't know who it belongs to. Here, take a look. I bet it is the... I bet it's Mr. Agong! If I'm sick, I choose Palenka, a traditional Hungarian spirit drink. It cures cold, like you stop a child from crying in a lollipop. Love it. All right, there's no ID cards or identifying stuff in here. Doesn't even have any money inside of it. What's this? A photo? It's been torn in half! <gasps> It's Mr. Agong! I knew it. Looks like I use this as evidence. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. But it wasn't Christmas. Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Got chop on, you got it. Rascally Wabbit got in the way, I like that chop on. Gamba. All right, so we're gonna gamba some channel points. Nice. One for two. The way that we do this is I will create a, um, a prediction and you will bet what you think is true about me. It'll be a yes or no question. And the prompt is, can Nerd Pastor Nate name three Britney Spears songs? Yes, no, whoopsie. One minute on the clock. Bet your channel points to see if I can name three Britney songs. I was thinking when I've got so many channel points, I remembered I earned a lot of the prediction. Well, there you go. Now you know. Now you know how the predictions work. Let's get those prediction points up there. Let's see if I can name three Britney songs. We got 35 seconds left on the clock. Make your bets. Make your bets. Points only get distributed if we have people voting in both categories. Otherwise, you just get them right back. Unless you lose, I guess you could potentially lose them. And then they're just lost into the aether. Nobody gets to win them. They're just gone. That's no fun. Get those points in there. We need other betters. I got no betters on the no side yet. Only on the yes side. Ten seconds remaining. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three... Two, one, Dunzo, the answer to the question. Uh, oh, never mind, we've got tons of points. Here we go. Yes, we have 1,000 people with yes and uh, 5,000 points for no. 1,000 for yes, 5,000 for no. Uh, oops, I did it again. Um, um, baby, one more time. Hit me, baby, one more time. I'm pretty sure it's called baby parentheses one more time. And then the third one, I'm pretty sure this is Brittany and it is toxic. And the taste of your lips that I got around. I'm addicted to you. Don't you know that you're toxic? I'm pretty sure that is Britney, isn't it? It is Britney. That's three. Boom jams. Yes, I can. Enjoy your channel points. <laughs> All right, Perry. Enjoy your lurk. Enjoy your lurk. If you would show me a Britney, a Britney song, I wouldn't recognize it. You don't know. Hit me, baby, one more time. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's the problem? Oh, whoopsie. Why is my thing not working? I feel like that's, like, iconic at this point, you know? Trolley's broken, and the stuff is too heavy to move. Can you help me? Hmm, let me see what I can do. Right, so I gotta fix this trolley. 
I've heard that one, but I wouldn't figure out it's Britney. Gotcha. Yeah, and then the obvious, oops, I did it again. I played with your heart. Got lost in the game. Ooh, baby, baby, oops, I'm falling in love. Then I guess from above, I'm not that innocent. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> very, very 90s, very 2000 era. But you gotta love it. So do I have enough evidence now? That's the question. But yes, congratulations to our winner. Enjoy those points. Okay, do I have to show him evidence or do I... I still don't know what I do. I'm gonna try showing it to him. Nothing out. Nothing out. I'm gonna try showing it to her. Nothing out. Nothing out. I'm gonna try talking to her. I don't know what you need from me! Normally they give me like a list to check off, you know? Yes. Okay. Ay ay ay! What do you want from me? Why is it not giving me a list? Every other chapter, every other fetch quest has told me exactly- Ooh. A library card for civic education handbook for 12th grade. Okay. Weird news from Europe. If you're interested, tell me what's going on in Europe. What's the deal with Europe? Maybe if I show the librarian the library card that says I need to return it. Yay, yay, yay. Sorry, Emma, but I'm not risking my paycheck by disobeying Mr. Gung's orders, but maybe my assistant could help. Your assistant? She's a student with her glasses and a ponytail. What was her name? Marin? Is it Marin? Do I have to go find Marin? Some folks in the EP decided to allow to use dry and powder forms of some insects as possible food ingredients. Fascinating. The outrage is enormous. I mean, I, I also don't want to eat bugs, but I don't think that it's that big of a deal either. I mean, I feel like as long as you're made aware, abundantly aware of the fact that it's happening, then it wouldn't be that big of a deal. Okay, so I think I gotta get the trolley. I gotta move move the chairs, and then she's back in the alley. That's my prediction. That trolley, can I borrow it? It's removing the pile of props. Of course, thanks for helping. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Probably problem time. Anytime. Yeah, there she is. Is that not Marin? Hey, Marin. Oh. Hotma, you startled me. Why are you here? Everyone is. I'm scared. Of what? I. Forget it. Just leave me here. No, I need the library. Are you the librarian's assistant? I am. Do you need anything? I need to get into the library. I'm looking for a book. Are you outraged, Emo? Everyone's out here breaking their backs for Ling Tang Festival and you're looking for a book? It's Mr. Agung. He's acting really strange. Like, pretending to be a military officer strange. More strange than usual, you mean. Uh, hey, he might be a bit strict, but Mr. Agung is usually kind. This is different. Hmm, that is weird. Right? Anyway, I found this library card in his bag. Maybe there'll be something in the book he checked out. A clue to help us fix it. Okay, I'll help. For real? Everyone's been acting weird. But if Mr. Agung's gone crazy too, then I'll know something's really wrong. Unlocking the library for you is the least I can do. Thank you so much, Marin. Do you know where Raya is? Raya? Okay, so she didn't she didn't glitch out. So for some reason, me and Marin and Lulu know things. 
Uh, let's see. We've been using extracts of shield louse uh, as a food coloring, and no one mentions that. I feel like it's as long as you know. I feel like just being aware is is good enough for me. Being notified that this contains bug bits is nice to know. Huh, Raya? I haven't seen her around. Maybe she's somewhere outside the school? <gasps> you didn't glitch. What's wrong? That's the most normal response I've gotten to that question all day. Outside, huh? Do you know why Ma Raya might have left the school? No idea. She's in charge of Ling Tang Fest Committee, so maybe she's doing some admin stuff? Hmm. That's all. Okay, no time to waste. Let's go to the library. Let us. Let us go to the library. Mm -hmm. Ooh, good key. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but my stomach is growling. Hmm, I think it's around here. Ha, gotcha! Is it mandatory to inform customers about the ingredients of food stuff? Sure. Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I'd say most. I wouldn't say, like, restaurants as much as grocery stores. Like, grocers are required to tell you. And then if you go to a restaurant, in a restaurant, they should they should notify whatever's inside. Like it's kind of like um, if you put crickets in your bread, you should put a sign on it. I, would, I mean, yes, I think if it's something troublesome, you should probably be notified. But if it's like, like you said, right, like Laos being or a uh, food coloring or something, they normally put in the ingredients list if it has a certain kind of food coloring. The key was right there the whole time. Well, now you know, I suppose I'll have to find a new hiding place. Here you go. After you. Although the guy immediately went in to go sleep. But again, I wouldn't say I have as much of a problem with it as it is, um... Just, like, be notified. A first edition of Catch Me, I'll Hit You, an installment of the popular Whoopus series. These books are surprisingly interesting. Suddenly I could go for some gum. I don't know that inside joke. She in the light bearer. World Atlas. <gasps> My stomach just keeps ramp just keeps just keeps hunger, hunger. Once I tried raw grass happer, it tasted like sweet, freshly cut grass. I, I mean we we like as a, as a former youth pastor, that was something we used to do of like, it would be a challenge or whatever to eat a bug. So I've had a lot of crickets in my day. Um, the worst thing I ever ate was larva. Um, that was disgusting. Larva was really gross. Crickets are not that bad. It's more of a just in your head thing. Scorpion was really gross. Scorpion was really gross. But yeah, crickets are not bad at all. You're still lucky. Well, those are that's pretty much it. I can't think of anything else that I tried. But the, like I said, the larva was definitely the grossest. You said you're looking for a particular book, right? Can I see the card again? Card again? I don't have a card. Again. Sure, here you go. Hmm, Civic Education Handbook for 12th grade. That should be over here. My father found an open banana on the kitchen table once, and he decided to eat it. It was still fresh. Sure. Yeah, I've eaten. I mean, we cut our bananas in half to feed, like, half to our daughter, and then the other half we just eat later. This is it. Mr. Gung usually uses that copy in his classes. Hmm. There's nothing unusual inside, as far as I can tell. My favorite thing to do with rotten bananas is to make them into banana bread. But I guess they, they don't need to be, like, rotten. They just are, like, close to rotten. But there was a stink bug on it, and he noticed it after he took a bite. Ooh, no, I can't do stink bugs. Mm -mm. I don't know if stink bugs actually taste bad, though. <laughs> I just know that they have a nasty sack of something in them. Here's something, a newspaper clipping. Aww. Aww. I see. His brother died. The obituary of a major general? 
Major General Young Miljono. Nice. Not nice. He was almost roaring from the taste. Yeah, that'd be real gross. I could not do a stink bug. Thanks for your help, Marin. Anytime. Hey, Atma? Yeah? Nothing. Good luck. Marin knows something, dude. I think I have enough evidence for the court. I should head back now. That would have been nice a while ago to know that you were going to tell me when we were done. Back into it. Space dive! Into your brain! <clears throat> Talking about insects, there are insane bystanders about them. I don't even know what that means. Do I have to listen or do I present? Your Highness, I have all the evidence in my hand. Very good. Are you ready to proceed with the trial? Yes, Your Highness. Objection. Defendant, please repeat your testimony. My name is Major General Agon. <laughs> hey, it really is, dude. It's so Ace Attorney, I can't handle it. Uh, okay. Okay, so I have something to predict pre to present to that. <laughs> this is just so funny. Objection. Your Highness, please take a look at this evidence. Ha! Huh. You're certain this is you in the photo, defendant? Absolutely sure. Would you show the court your photo again? I see no point in doing so, but as you wish. Defendant, this photo looks frayed on the edge like it's been ripped. How do you explain it? It it must just be worn from where I've carried around for so long. No, I think I know where this what's going on. This photo is only half of a larger image, and the prosecution has obtained the other half. Oh snap! Oh snap! No! Oh yes. And the other half. The other half shows you in your true identity as a teacher. Ooh. Order! I will have order! What do you say to this, defendant? That's... That isn't me! The resemblance is uncanny. You're still not convinced? I have other evidence, Your Highness. Very well. Please present it. Uh, my name is Major General... Okay, so that name is actually... This name. Objection! You say that you're Major General Agung Miljono, correct? But that's impossible! Because he's dead! Prosecution, the evidence, prove his claim false. Yes, take a look at this newspaper clipping. Local local man is arrested for selling cigarettes to minor. Uh, your highness, please, the reverse. Oh, this is an obituary? Wait. The obituary of Major General Agung Monjongo. <laughs> That's right, the Major General is deceased. And as you can see by the date on the newspaper, he passed away many years ago. The real Major General Agung Miljono is dead. Order! I will have order now! Well, defendant, what do you say to this? Fake news! Fake news, I say! This is a conspiracy! No real rebuttal, I see. Still not convinced. I have other evidence, Your Highness. Very well, please present it. I should know my own identity, I say. I'm certain I'm not a teacher, I'm a bona fide soldier. Yes, teacher. Objection! That's a bold claim, Your Highness. Please take a look at this evidence. I kind of thought about getting one wrong on purpose. Ha! No evidence, you say. You should think carefully before making a claim like that. This is, um, a future planned consultation. That's right. The letterhead clearly demonstrates this is an authentic local high document. Take a look at the signature at the bottom of the form. Signed by Agong Miljono Putra. It's the same as the signature on the photo that you submitted was yours. Ugh. Only teachers can supervise and sign the consultation form. This form proves that Agungal Jona Putra is a teacher at Loka High. Order! Order, I say! Defendant, what do you say to this? They must have forged my signature, Your Highness. There's no proof of that. Still not convinced, huh? All this evidence points to one irrefutable conclusion. You aren't a Major General at all. You're Agungal Jona Putra, a Loka High teacher. Ah! 
now I can dive into his head? I'm about to space dive into a space dive? Yes, prosecution. Congratulations, you're now close enough to the truth, but your work is not done. Worry not, the course stands firmly behind you. Yes, that power that changed this man runs deep. Your current abilities are not enough, but yes, the foundation is there. I bestow upon you the power of cross dive. Cross dive? I love their ministry. Cross dive faith in gaming. You need to peel back the other layer of influence on this man. Go forth, enter the second layer of Mr. Agung's inner psyche. Underneath, you will find his true identity hidden away. I want you to restore it. Okie dokie. Space dive. Oh. Here it is, the real Mr. Agung locked away deep inside his heart. I need to set him free. Maybe if I solve this puzzle? Are we playing Inception now, right? It really does feel that way. It really do be like that. Missing a specific view is probably the blue views. You have no authority here. Nice. What is this contraption? Let me out. Sorry, you're the wrong man. What do you mean I'm the wrong man? Hey. Switch doesn't work because it needs the blue fuse. Solve this puzzle, and then we'll probably have to call it quits for the day. That's all four. You're free! Mr. Gung is free. It's all my fault. Huh? I see now that you've become someone honorable and worthy. It's okay, Father. Father? I can prove to you that being a teacher is a noble way of life. Educating the young generation that will inherit the future? It's my own way of serving the country. I might not take arms like you did, but I fight in the front line all the same. I apologize, my son. I apologize for being such a bad father. All the ways I treated you harshly. I forgive you, father. Beyond anything, I just want you to approve of my life decisions. Thank you, son. Well, that's kind of break that kind of breaks my heart. Gung. No! Do not explode him too! Do not explode him too! Mr. Agung. Raya, this is enough! Raya? Mr. Agung. Raya, I need your help. I have to leave school for a while for the festival we need. Do you have a permission slip? No, that's why I... Then it's a no! You may be the committee president of the Ling Tang Festival, but it doesn't mean you get to go as you please. But this is for... We, uh, while we're talking about the festival, how about the missing money? Are you finally taking care of all the budgeting issues? How did you know about that? Ah, uh, as expected. You still haven't done anything about it, have you? You should solve it for yourself and stop coming to me for everything. You're the committee president and act like one. You, you shouldn't know that. You shouldn't say that. Not here, not when... You say everyone's against you, but they're your own classmates. You should be the one who figures out a way to convince them. As expected from a textbook model student. Oh, hot air. You can't do anything in real life. Stop. Please, I, I can't hear it again. Lulu did it Eversley last year. The year before, too. She's a fantastic leader, and she never had a budget problem like this. 
I said stop it! <laughs> Useless. I can make this the perfect festival. Wait and see. Okay, so that's just a memory of how he was... tainted. Wait! She's gone? Raya's really messing up, dude. Huh, what is that? The nap at a shrine? A medallion? Student Council President of 2XXX. There's a name on it, but it's scratched out. I bet it's Ran! Do you see now? Oh, you're Mr. Agung, our civic studies teacher. Yes, yes I am. I apologize for the weird outburst, kids. Can you tell us what happened? I'm not sure. The last thing I remember was a student. A student who? Which one? I... I think it was Raya. Yes. Raya was gonna leave the school area. I told her that just because she's the committee president, huh? That doesn't mean that she can skip school whenever she pleases. Raya is the committee president? Of the Lintang Festival? So everything I saw in the space drive is true? Raya did all this? What else do you remember, Mr. Agon? Nothing. Maybe it's heat stroke? It's very sunny today. I, I need the air conditioner in my office. Now. Wait. Do you know where Raya went to? Honestly, no. Um, I thought you were close with her. I, uh... Actually, now you mention it, the counselor did mention something that was worrying her about Raya. She was going to talk to me about it, but I didn't have the time. The counselor? Miss Nike. Yeah, maybe she knows where Raya was headed. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need a blast of freezing air in the face immediately. Are you sure you're alright, sir? I can ask the cafeteria to make you your favorite iced tea if you'd like. Iced tea is indeed my favorite, but how did you know that? Because you always let me get one for you when there's a student council meeting? You're on the student council, I don't remember you. I was last year's president. You don't remember? Ugh, you're speaking nonsense, but I... Just let me leave, kid. Weird. All of this is too weird! Raya, that weirdo, the committee president? Totally insane. Hey, that's kind of harsh, isn't it? You know her better than I do. You should know exactly why that could never happen. Mr. Gunn, I was his favorite student. I was hoping that he would at least remember giving me the student council honorary medallion. Medallion? Like this? Do you know what this is? This is mine. <laughs> uh, huh? What is this thing? I can't remember. Well, no time for chit-chat. Don't just stand there, Atma. Let's go find Miss Nikon. Uh, sure. Let's go. If the space dive is true, then Raya is acting really strangely. She seemed angry and upset. I hope Miss Nikon can help me find her quickly. Okay, we are going to save... And call it a day. Because we have got to go raid somebody and wrap up stream here today. I'm going to go ahead and exit to the desktop. Ba -ba -ba -bow. Thanks for being here, folks. I appreciate you being here and hanging out with us for this wonderful stream. Uh, I am super duper into this game. I don't know if you guys are as well. Um, I plan on finishing it on stream just because I, I, I would like to have a full playthrough of it online. I think this is a great game. I'm super into the story. I'm super invested. I think it's really fun. Um, I think it's a good mystery so far. I have no idea what's happening. I know it's Raya behind it, but I don't know why. I don't know what happened to Rin. I don't know if maybe like Raya is Rin or something like that, but something weird is happening. I'm super invested and I have so many more questions. So we are gonna go and raid somebody. Uh, let's go raid, um, you know what? We're either gonna raid Frost or just a little spark. Did we raid Frost last week? Does anybody remember? I don't remember. Uh, let's see. Thank you for the stream. Have a nice rest of your day. You too, Emo. Let's raid just a little spark. Let's raid just a little spark. Um, and we're gonna go raid them. Folks, we three things we, we believe to be three, we believe three things to be true about every single one of you out there. Number one, we believe that God loves you. Number two, we love you. We really love you and want community with you. Number three, we believe that you, yes, you matter. You're a person of sacred worth. The world is a better place. Why? Because you are in it. Folks, if you do me a favor, go spam some you matters in the chat of just a little spark. And I will see you tomorrow for our checkathon. 4 p.m. Be there or be square. Until then. Mm, bye bye.